You guys are there pala? Hi guys, welcome to my newly renovated house. Yes, I don't know if you remember, this house is 17 years old. But now we renovated it to make it look all white. Because during the pandemic, when I couldn't go to work, we built a house down the street and then we used this as our studio. Is my queen here? Is Corina here now? Let's see. Hi! Taka mask. Meron ako ng dalang anti antigen. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Okay. Nag antigen na ba kayo ng lahat? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Ayoko magkasakit. Kung ito ma. Ito na yung ating mahiwagang siya, maayos. Better. 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 Yes, better. Correct. It's more comfortable. Karina, oh, welcome to my house <laughs> again. Again. I love the all white. Oh, di ba? No. Huh? Yeah, because during COVID, I, there was no work. Oh. So I used this as my studio because I got right. into TikTok, right. podcasts, ano pong ginawa ko? YouTube. So this now, this is this is the house where you really used to live for how many years? Uh, we lived here for 17 years. Wow! No, 16 pala. 16 years. Mm -hmm. So uh -oh. syempre, magsasawa ka na nga naman. It's not that, but it became so public because I wasn't Correct. so... And this is really the house I was alone. When, uh -oh. when Crystal left and Cork left, I was alone. So I feel this, this house is mine. And when I married Hayden and Scarlett, parang walang space si Hayden. Right. I couldn't move my closet or anything to accommodate okay. his clothes. So, you know, he decided to build a house down the street. Para yeah. naman meron na siyang sarili niyang space. Because every day for, how long were we? together. Siguro mga, hmm, mga four years, he would go back to his apartment, get his clothes every three days. Kasi so, the reason why <laughs> nagpagawa kayo ng bagong bahay is talagang parang yun na ang inyong This is our private Private home, oasis. Diba? So today is one of my favorite episodes because we are going to raid a closet. Not mine, but my husband's closet. So, hi, Dan. I could visit Hello, everyone. Do you believe na? The more closet space you give your man, the more you love him. No, no man, because I didn't give Hayden closet space, but I love him. Okay. It's just that I need to know, like now I'm so lost. I always say, I don't have clothes. Because when it's scattered, your shoes are scattered, I don't know what to do. So I'm still trying to figure out a way. Ikaw, marami ka bang closet space sa bahay? Wala, forever na ka-topperware ang mga gamit ko. Okay, so um, so this is now your studio, and when I look at everything, at kapag narinig ko na yung kwento mo, uh, mula nung pagkabata mo, mm -hmm. medyo na shock ako na meron palang hugot ang buhay ni, ni Vicky Bello. Of course, we've talked about this, but di ba, iba yung perspective pagka 10 years later, a Scarlet and a Hayden later, a house later, oh. from your childhood, bakit Spanish? ang salita mo nung bata ka. Yung parents ko, they wanted me talaga to learn Spanish. Gusto, gusto nila na marunong ako mag-Espanyol. So they made an agreement na from the age since I was born, I only speak Spanish. Zero. Wow. English, zero. Well, the Tagalog was from my helpers. Bisaya, man. Okay. I'm from Cebu. I was born in Cebu. And my dad's from Capiz, right? Oh. So Mar and I, so right. it was only Ilongo and Cebuano that I would hear. Okay. So when I went to Assumption for kindergarten, I couldn't speak English, so they had a very hard time with me. So, so hanggang ngayon? So bigla na lang, oh. from all Spanish to all English. So oh. I forgot all my Spanish, okay. but I can remember, you know, I talagang, if you teach your children, I heard you're teaching them French. I'm trying to teach them French because if puro Ilongo, I feel marginalized. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, because everybody in our home, from the gardener to the lola, mm -hmm. is all the Pepe, what are we going to read now? Mama, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to <laughs> when I get home, wala, puro ilonggo na sila, kailangan ko ng translator. Ilonggo, yeah. A little. Ah, oh, little. Jutay, ma. Kumay lang, Jutay. Ayan, oh, oh. Ang <laughs> <Pati. laughs> 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> so, tinuturo ako sila mag-princess, Vicky, pero yung princess nila, Ilongo, eh, Ilongo accent, accent pa rin. Yung kanilang jitim. <laughs> jitim, good. Oo, oh, oh, urboa, urboa. But they're the cutest. Yeah. I love watching them. Good vibes lang talaga. Well, Vicky is very open about the adoption thing, right? Mm, yes, I So, am. from your perspective now, how would you relay that story? Cuento is, I was born a cancho. I was the fifth child in a family. Uh, of, there were three girls, one boy, and then me. And the bello, my bello mom, is a sister of my cancho mom. And they couldn't have kids. They were married for nine years with no children. My cancho mom got pregnant every 10 months, 11 months. So I always have Irish twins. Like my brother, older brother and I, for one month, are the same age. And my younger brother, si Billy, pareho rin kaming age. So I think my bello mom told my cancho mom, in, should, can you just give us a baby, please? Because it's more that to that day, na pag babae, bibigay namin sa yon. Pero pag lalake, ikikip namin. O sa ano ang tinuro sa akin nun? Feeling ko pag babae ka, hindi ka ganon ka. Ka importante, di ba? Importante. Of course. So I have it in my head to really always be very competitive with boys. I think part of it is trying to show off that hey. Girls are as good as boys, and we know that, right? Correct, right? correct. So correct. that's my one thing. Right. Number two, I think also, you know, I felt very blessed to be adopted. Because in the story of parents, I, you know, they prayed so hard. Like we prayed so hard to have our children like Scar. Well, I prayed very hard. Now we really wanted you, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So very okay. Kaya na nung pumasok na ako sa school, medyo binubuli ako ng ibang kids. Kasi my sister studied in the same school. So the whole school knew I was adopted. And alam mo sa likod, sa likod ng ano ko, bigla na may sasabi, ampun lang yan. Oo. Oh. Oo, hindi talaga belo yan, binigay lang yan. Pero yung, so, teka muna Vicky, so ibig mong sabihin nung, de, o oh, sabihin natin, ting pinamigay ka. Hmm. Pero napunta ka naman sa maganda, hindi yes, ba? Yes, definitely. So you mean they were open to you that you were adopted? Yeah, they told me from the very oh. beginning. But in a storytelling way, I think yung tatay ko dapat sumulat ng libro, on how to tell your child na adopted siya. Kasi he would always make it feel like it was so special. Diba? And I remember my mom telling me, alam mo, the only difference between uh, giving birth to your child and an adopted child is one goes in your stomach, the other one goes in your heart. So oh. gagamitin ko yun, diba? How but nice it was always naman. something. Kaya oh. in school, ginugulo ako, Corina, sinasabi nila, kaya ka naman adopted, pinamigay ka kasi pangit ka. Ha? Ha, talaga. No. Basta isa naman, hindi, hindi dahil pangit siya kasi ang taba-taba niya. Oh. So you've known me, I mean, we've known each other for what? Such yeah, they a called time. you Miss Porky something. Yeah, Porky Pig. But you know, in a way, pumasok ako sa isang um, occupation na papagandahin ko yung mga tao at papasexyhan ko yung mga tao para hindi na sila ma-bully yes. or made to be to feel less than right. so yun ang akin kaya may hugot ang ang ano ko hindi siya you know some people think oh ang dami mong kinikita oh yaman yaman ni Dr. Bello parang feeling nila pera yung ano pero if you have a higher purpose and my purpose was that everybody should be loved kasi pala pag pangit ka nalaman ko, pinamimigay ka lang. So, ah, yun ang naging mind. So, ang feeling Pero ko, hindi ko lahat. Oo, oh, oh. oh. mindset mo yun. Yes. And then, nung oh. teenager ako, ang dami kong tigyawat. Ano mo yung sinasabi nilang, uh, may mukha kang, ano, tigyawat na tinubuan ng mukha. Ng mukha. <laughs> Medyo ganun ang face ko. <laughs> And ang dami kong pinunta na derma, na wala oh. talaga magawa for me. Laging every, kasi di ba, it's chronic, every week, meron ka na naman bago. So, doon ako nag-decide na maging derma. Oh. Diba? Kung hindi, kung maganda ang skin ko, baka iba yung, right. yung ano ko. Pero I always wanted to be a doctor. Because your, your adoptive be... father was a doctor. No, my no? dad's a lawyer. Oh, lawyer! But he was, he was from UP and he was pre-med. Oh. And then he changed to law when he got it. He won a debate in school. Yung tatay ko kasi napakagaling. Valedictorian, wow. bar top notcher. Parang, wow. di ba? Isn't your, you have someone like, and then he's from Harvard. So talagang, but he always told me, I regret so much becoming a lawyer. So I said, I will not make the same mistake, Daddy. I will become a doctor. For I was thinking about pedia, pedia, ganon. And then, because of the skin problem, mm -hmm. I decided. Dun ako nagdi research. Nakaupo ako don. Twelve years old in the sa clinic ng derma ko. Tapos titingnan ko yung plastic flowers. Ay nako pag may clinic ako fresh. <laughs> ay mga punit-punit na magazine nako pag ako ay may clinic na bagong magazines oh, alam mo yon oh, oh. and then by appointment kasi inis na inis ako 
that I had to wait for two hours, three hours every time I would go. So it was such a waste of time. You know, we don't want to waste time, right? Our exactly. time is precious. You can't buy more of it. Mm -hmm. So I said, at least in the clinic, I will try. Na buy appointment, but there's no unnecessary waiting. We kind of jump to how she is today. I mean, the perfection that she, in her life is today, but there's so much more. Let's talk about love, Ooh. love, pag-ibig. <laughs> Sa mata ni Dr. Vicky Bello, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you love this topic, come on. No. You love it. Let's talk about love, love, pag-ibig. Sa mata ni Dr. Vicky Bello, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you love this topic, come on! When did love start for you? I mean, look, kung ang tingin mo sa sarili mo nung bata ka ay hindi ka maganda. Mm. So paano yun during, during adolescence, nung teenager ka, syempre? In fairness, ang haba ng hair ko, marami naman ang kukort. <laughs> no, pero I personally, hindi mo nafe-feel sa loob. Mm. Pero pala, yung mga... You know, I was saying in UP, I was always so conscious of being fat. Have you ever been fat? Always. No, hello, you're so yes, thin. Yes, yes. Anyway, when you're fat, you're so obsessed with being fat. And in my mind, I was fat, but pala, I wasn't fat. Because I was 100 pounds when I was 7 years old, right? And so my dad stopped me from eating rice. Hindi na po ako nagra-rice, hindi ako nagsa soft drinks. So I don't eat rice since I was 7. Okay. Tapos, naging 108 ako. In my mind, fat pa. Kasi in your mind, fat ka. Pero pala, in reality, sexy pala ako, hindi ko alam. Oh. Anyway, at saka dami kong tigyawat. I was very aware that my hair is so sanay to be like this because I'm always hiding. Oh. Pero the guys at that time, parang they didn't naman care. At saka yung panahon na, namin, I don't know about you, Corina, but in my time, for every girl, mga five boys ang ratio. What? Oh, there's always like so many guys. Kulang ang girls. Okay. So ang dami mong suitors. So meron naman ako kasi charming ako. Ganyan, oh. nadadaan. Pero ang hindi ko alam, I was studying kasi in UP. Tapos I used to go to Broadcast City kasi I used, may secret ako. I was an Aldeguer dancer. No! Oh, so ngayon, Totoo. that's super, like super nobody knew. <laughs> kasi in, at that time, I was dancing for the Vilma Santo show. So I was dancing. Sa, sandali sa background, lang. Ako, background. Sandali lang. Oh. Hindi natin alam ito. Oh, talaga. Secret life Naging ko. Naging background dancer <laughs> ni Bill Masato. Yung mga gumaga si doon. Pag may kumakanta-kanta. Pero secret life ko yon. My parents didn't know. No. Nobody knew. Kasi di ba, if you tell people, they'll say you're so Vicky, baduy. What paano, are you doing that? Paano ka lalabas sa TV background dancer kasi, ka? Hindi ka makikita na nanay Dahil mo. ako, walang ka makeup makeup normally. Hindi ako nag-makeup until I got married. Kasi for my career. But before not. And when you dance for TV, ball slash is so big, oh. hair this big, I really didn't look like myself. So, I met this Atom, na to, but this is a cute story about Atom. So, si Atom, kapatid niya ni Ronnie Hanaris, na boyfriend ni Vilma Santos noon. Kaya Pero, pala. hindi pa sila, hindi pa oh. sila mag-boyfriend. Anyway, kinakort pa ni Ronnie. Eh, si Atom yung manager. So, ngayon, I was dancing nga for Vilma. Bigla na lang, one day, I see Ronnie and Atom come in. Eh, hindi nila alam ni Atom, hindi pa kami mag-boyfriend. nag -ano lang, we're just dating. Pumasok siya, nandiyan yung guy na dinidate ko. Sabi niya, hindi ko anong gagawin ko. Sabi niya, magtago ka muna. Sabi ko, okay, tatago ako. <laughs> so, pumunta ako doon sa dressing room, dinaanan ko si Atom. Narinig ko, she's cute, ha? So, type na niya ako, kahit nakaganun ako. Pero hindi niya ako nakilala. So, pumunta ako sa bulob ng banyo, umupo na lang ako doon hanggang time for me to dance. Mm. Dumating si Ronnie, knock, 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 I need the toilet. So, sabi ko, paano na lang to? Oh. Makikita, so, cover my hair, cover my face. Nag-open ako ng door, dumaan ako, oh. pagdaan ko, she's really cute, sabi ni Atom. Ikaw. Yung sumasayo kami ni, ano, ni Jojo, yung may step palagi ang Aldegar kasi nag gumaganon. Tapos gaganon yung hair mo, oh, biglang oh, ganyan. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos sabi niya, so, nanonood siya the whole time, pinapan... Then, nung gumanan ako, sabi niya, oh, gumanan siya, nakilala ako. Oh. Oh, so after... Then, he's the only one who knew I was dancing in Aldeguer. Oh. I didn't know you. Okay. I said, please don't tell my mom. Please don't tell anybody. So, nobody ever knew. What a story. Oh, what a revelation. But he finds me very cute, si Atom. Gusto niya kasi yung not normal. Correct. So, may pagka-abnox. <laughs>
So, nagtagal naman kayo ni Atom. Ni Atom Penares. Yes, yeah. actually, we're, we were married for 11 years. Wow. And we were dating for 4, so 15 years. But now, yes. yeah, Hayden and I are 17, so... Wow, Atom and Hayden best friends. Kinda, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Atom always... You know, Hayden's very techy, so he needs help all the time with his computer stuff. Atom naman... And then Hayden naman loves paintings. It's his new uh, passion. And cars. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and they're always talking. Ayun. So, it's cute. Mm -hmm. Nakilala ko si Vicky. Nagsisimula pala... I don't know, nagsisimula pa lang ang belo yata nun or something. You're celebrating your 30 what? 30 Thir second anniversary. 32nd. 32 years and born. Congratulations, Bello. So that's about the start of my career, about 32 years ago. Really? Right. Also, so, um, girl, I remember you. Ibubuko ko na to, Weather Girl. Oh, oh. Weather Girl, so show ni Merce Hanares. Oh, that's our background because Merce is a close friend, of course. We're sisters-in-law. Right. And then we, I would watch her, and you were the weather girl. You're so pretty, I and so. So I thought this girl should go places, because it's not bad. It's just weather, lang. and you did. Para ba kayo nagkakilala ni Hayden? We met in a beauty contest. We were both judges in UST for Mr. and Miss UST. And then when he passed by, I was, the, of course, I'm the older one, so I was the, ano yun, head chairman of the board. Dumaan siya. Sabi ko sa best friend ko, kasi dala ko si Diane. You cute, ah. Oh. <laughs> I thought, what is this? I thought there was a specialty. Na. Oh. Hindi pala. Intern lang. President daw siya ng inter, uh, Intern Association ng Makati Medical. Oh. So I said, it's like Crystal. Oh. So when he was there, there was a chismis kasi that he was dating Crystal. He wasn't dating Crystal first. The mother of Crystal just wanted him to date Crystal so I'll have a doctor. Son in law, because I have a child na doctor. Okay. Tapos, si Crystal naman may boyfriend, and na faithful ni Crystal. Sabi niya, Mommy, he's cute, but I have a boyfriend. Oh, diba parang nanay niya na paka faithful. So, oh. <laughs> so, sabi ko, okay. So, he would come to the clinic, uh, visit me, because he wanted to be a cosmetic surgeon. So, he would come to observe, but then he'll bring me CD. Chocolate. Ako naman parang ano to. <laughs> oh. But you know, it was really one of those things. I would never. We were just friends for a long, long time, and then, and then, voila, something happens. So. <laughs> oh, oh nga, di ba? Parang um, well, again, you know this. Alam naman ng lahat. The age gap mm. at that time was at so that, big. That was so big. Saan ang unan yung date? Ay, Paano yun, kanya tinanong? Hindi, hindi ka ba na siya? Ganito ang nangyari. Actually, hindi ko. Crush ko siya talaga, pero siya with me, but I didn't understand. So we would, he'd come to the office every day, bring me a novel. Lagi yung may dalang chocolate na maliit na bar or, or flower na isa. Yung ganong type. So hindi ko alam, he was just being thoughtful, which I thought he was. Anyway, so I was thinking, he never occurred to me na may romance kasi ang laki ng gap. One time we went to Tsukiji and we ate lunch and we were, I was sitting here, normally we sit across each other. And then this time he sat beside me. So nakaupo siya doon. Then bigla na lang, may mga actions sa ilalim ng table. Yung parang ginagano ng pa ako. Tapos, and parang he was playing footsie. So ako naman tingin ng tingin kasi hindi ko alam. <laughs> Because he never sits beside me, he's always in front. Eh. Style so, talaga ni Hayden, no? Sabi Marami ko, nang gagaya sa kanya. Ay, nako, tinitinan ko, sabi ko, kasi malaki siya eh. Uh -oh. And to this day, he tells me, he didn't really mean it daw. Uh -huh. Matangkad lang kasi siya. So, hindi, yeah, there's not enough mo. space. How many years apart? 23. 23 years. Uh -oh. Okay. So, stuff Hollywood is made of. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, wala. Sobrang, How did you ano, handle it? I mean, eto, merong lumiligaw sa'yo na napakabatang pogi na... Single. You know, Corina, I don't know, but my life is full of like that, diba? I've never been, I'm always controversial without meaning to be. Right. So when I first came to dermatology, it was so controversial because I was doing lasers and people were saying lasers will burn your brain. I was injecting Botox, first one to bring Botox in. You are putting toxin, you will kill the people, diba? Yung mga ganun. So, nasanay na rin ako na hindi ko sila pinapakailaman kung anong iniisip nila kasi I can never please them anyway. With this naman, we really got along because I've always wanted to be with a doctor. It's nice to speak, talk about medical stuff and nobody else can talk about it with me except another doctor. Plus, he was guapo. Ang sarap na when I see him, kilig pa rin ako. To this day, 17 years later, when I see him, parang, 
Ang guapo guapo naman dito. <laughs> so I really, but I never thought it would be serious. But at one point, um, feeling you ba kailangan yung magtago o isikreto? So we were really hiding and we were so happy for about a year and a half. Walang may alam. So we'd go, we'd go out naman, but I wasn't really announcing. And then Mahi Dumawal saw us in an event. And nilagay ako sa TV Patrol mo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Dr. Vicky Bello is dating a doctor na yang ganyan, oh. ganyan. Ah, si Mario talaga. Mario talaga. Mario talaga. So nung na-announce na, hindi tinuloy na namin kasi na-announce na. Pero actually, it was the worst thing. I mean, doon nawala si Hayden. He changed. He really changed. Bakit? Hmm. You said no the first time he asked you to marry him. No, I never said no. He was planning to propose to me in Morocco. And what he told me, he told you, and he told Georgie, and I don't know, Pepito Albert yata to make me a dress because he surprised. Okay. Well, of course, he surprised ko siya. Kasi hindi ko alam na may ganun. So one day I tell him, I had to give a talk in Texas on December 8th. And the thing was supposed to be December 5 to 10. Sabi niya, huh? I said, yeah, I have to give a talk to the nurses in Texas December 8th. Why? I said, if you don't have to go, I'm just telling you, you don't have to go if you don't want to. No, 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 I'll go. When we got there pala, propo siya sa Texas. So, nagib ako ng talk, and then after that, he went to the aquarium because he wanted to see a Bengal tiger. Ako naman, how can you see a Bengal tiger in the aquarium? But there were pala talaga Bengal tigers in the aquarium. Anyway, after the Bengal tiger, we sat down, bigla na lang. Splash in the water, sa scuba, sa malaking tank ng aquarium. And then there were girls. Sabi niya, sexy ng girls. O, oh, dipikon naman ako. Parang sexy na naman. Pagtingin ko, nakahawak ng sign. Vicky, will you marry me? I love you. Will you marry me, Hayden? Naka yung girls were holding the scuba diving tank. And then, and then when I looked at him, wala na siya dito, nandito na siya. Eh, of course, ang dami namin pinagdaanan. I didn't trust him. Parang what kind of marriage? Number one, ang laki ng gap. Number two, he's so attractive to so many people. Alam, alam niyo, when I go to the banyo for five minutes, pagbalik ko, may young girls, may older girls, <laughs> may same age girls. Ang oh. dami talaga nakikik, di ba? And then mahina pa siya sa temptation. So sabi ko, if I ever marry this guy. But it was so public and there were so many people. So he said, will you marry me? Ganyan. And I said, yes, I guess. But I said, I really just postponed it for a long time. And when it finally happened, oh my, talagang wala na yata kakabog sa wedding na yon. I mean, who gets married in that place? Palais Garnier. I know. No, I really have to give it all to Hayden because uh -oh. he planned everything. I think Hayden, the thing about him that I love is everything is special. He will never do ordinary, di ba? So even his proposal, the wedding, we wanted to get married in Paris because yun talaga ang favorite city namin. Pero Hanap kami ng hanap ng hotel, parang ang papangit, mas maganda mga hotel dito. And maliliit. Dinaanan namin yung ano, Palais Garnier. And then, I said, what's that? Can we get married there? And he said, I think that's the opera house. So we engaged Javi. But it's a government building. And you know, the French, they don't care to make money or anything. So nobody wanted to give us permission. Pero hindi talaga tinigilan ni Hayden. It is the most beautiful I've ever seen. So Vicky, sa lahat ng pinagdaanan mo mula pagkabata hanggang dyan at that point in the Opera House, extraordinary people do not lead ordinary lives. Yan lang ang masasabi ko. So let's next talk about something extraordinary that happens to a lot but not to all. You had cancer. Extraordinary people do not lead ordinary lives. Yan lang ang masasabi ko. So, let's talk about something extraordinary that happens to a lot but not to all. You had cancer. Yes. You oh. had it. Yes. And mm. I can't imagine having it all and then suddenly being given that news. Actually, it happened. It, well, for everybody, this is the first time I'm going to discuss it. And only because I trust you. And I think it's over, but you know, I had cancer in 2016 and I was diagnosed with third stage cancer of the breast. And I went to Europe and the States for treatment, so I kind of disappeared for about a year and a half to two years. In my daughter's wedding, Crystal, I was bald, completely bald. I was diagnosed, I think, January of the year. 
And then I went to Europe and I was told by them there that I was going to die. Don't bother to have chemo, don't bother, just fix your affairs, you're dead in two years. I went to New York, New York Presbyterian, and they wouldn't give me anything. Then, you know, I said, so what are my chances? And they were very quiet. We'll try our best. That's when I knew how much Atom still loved me. He went with us, I think that's when he and, and Hayden got close, because they were in every city scan, that scan, I know, radiation thing. And then Crystal had her wedding on a certain date, so I had to have my chemo. My mom passed away. In the middle of having my chemo, I kept asking my mom, she's 89. I said, Mom, you have to stay with me because you're so close, like you are with your mom. I said, I need you, talaga. please don't leave me. But she was saying, I'm, I'm so tired, na iya. you know, I'm feeling sick. No, please stay with me. So I, on my second chemo, I was doing my chemo. In the middle of my chemo, they called me that my mom had collapsed and that she's in Makati. They couldn't revive her in 30 minutes. So I was there with that chemo and I said, hurry it up because I want to go to her and reach her and she's still warm. And then he said, if we hurry it up, you're dead because it's so toxic. And then I said, okay, then take, take it off, but then you'll have to do it all over again. Yeah, I'm halfway, diba? Traumatic, but I think my mom passed away because Atom kept telling her, Vicky, she has to go to the States, but she won't leave because she wants to be near you. So after that, I went to the States and I did my radiation. Um, it was so funny, but actually people don't know this, but I was being interviewed by CNN. And CNN, because when they interview you, they, they warn you like five months ahead of time. So I think they talked to me in November, but the interview was in April, I think, or something. I totally forgot about them because of course there's so much more happening. That first chemo, your hair is lagas na, but it didn't fall. So I said, oh, baka naman I was injecting with mga vitamin P and things from my hair. So I thought, baka, cause, you know, maybe it's working. So when the interview happened, I had my chemo two days before. And you know, when you do chemo, you're green. You're basically green. You look so sick. I was feeling bloated and ugly. So while I was having my interview, hair was falling on the floor. And so I would look at my people and say, am I getting bald in front of CNN? Because while they're interviewing me, the hair was falling and it was plenty clumps and then the helpers would come and make, ano, bring it out with a walis, di ba? And they said, no, you're okay pa, you're okay pa. Anyway, I couldn't concentrate on the interview Pero, because of course, yes. ang hirap noon, di ba? So they asked me a question. They said, what are your plans for the future? If you have cancer, kasi wala kang plans. You just want to get well and you don't want to plan. I don't plan because I don't know if I'm going to be alive or not. And they told me pa, I'm going to be dead. So, you know, so I'm like, I couldn't answer. I could, you know, you know naman how I answer. I'm bilis, diba? So I looked at them and they go, do you have plans for the future? I said, do you know Hayden and I have a baby? And Scarlett was one. And they go, what? I didn't know what to say, diba? Gusto ko yung attention mawala sa akin. I said, Scar Hayden and I have a baby. Ibaba niyo nga si Scarlett. That's why I announced, and I, because we weren't planning to say anything. I mean, if people find out, they find out, but what's this announcement? Parang, who are we? We're just doctors. Then I had to call Hayden to apologize because I didn't clear it with him. To be told, sasabihin sa'yo na wala ka ng pag-asa, hmm. mamamatay ka na, tapos yung nanay mo, 89, namatay na rin, meron kang bagong baby. Paano mo na-survive yun? Vicky, hindi namin I... naramdaman. Hindi, na, hindi kami mga nakapaligid sa'yo, hindi namin naramdaman yung pinagdaanan mong napakahirap na yun. Yeah. Well, talaga, alam mo kayo, I think nakikita yung mga Instagram, kakala niyo yung mga life namin perfect, or yung mapakasaya, nagbabiyahe, nagshopping, whatever, Corina. You know, everybody has their challenges. Wala talagang perfect buhay, so huwag kayong madepress pag nakita niyo ganun, tapos yung life niyo, hindi pala feeling nyo, hindi ganun kaganda. Mm -hmm. Lagi nyo hanapin yung ganda sa buhay nyo. Health is so Health important. is wealth. So now, that's really my thing. Health, mm -hmm. like you and I, when you get older, ano na yun, di ba? Slow down a bit. I'm already older. <laughs> <laughs> you look so younger. <laughs> Thanks to Bello. Oh. I'm blown away by what you went through. Uh, oh. So, anong secret? That you still look this fabulous, oh. you are well, so, paano? Ano ang I prayers, of course, Prayers, of course. Family, but, love, support, yes. right? And you know, the number one secret is Scarlett. Scarlett, they're all near you. Why don't you say hi? I can't be that surprised. No, because I hope you enjoyed Kenya with me. And if
Because I really look at her and I want to be with her. I don't want to leave her naman so young, yeah. diba? So I kept praying, Lord, please give me time. Oh, oh. So yun. Iyak na rin ako kasi ganun din yung mga anak ko ang liliit pa. Kaya mm. all I can think of is how to live to be 120 years old. Oh, kaya natin yan. <laughs> kaya natin yan. <laughs> Sabi nga ng patients ko, ikaw talaga, nung bata ka, wala kang pakailam oh. about all these aging things kasi hindi mo pa dinaanan. But now that you're older, I know this is a lot of anti-wrinkling, how to keep your hair black. Right, 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 right. So, right. ganon, may keep it thick, di ba? So, that right. kind of thing. Kawaan mo si Scarlett kung minsan napre-pressure siya kasi six months pa lang, dinala ko na siya sa Maldives, Japan, Paris. Kasi in my mind, I want to be with her. When she does it, she's only six months, how can she? So, ngayon, super enjoy ako. Thank you for the Kasi seven years old is a really good age. It's such a privilege and an honor to be trusted with that story, Vicky. <laughs> so thank you for sharing and believe me, in this moment, you have inspired so many. Oh. I think it's important you tell that part of your life nice. story. And since we're uh, talking about um, how extraordinary the life of this unordinary person is, O, pag-usapan naman natin si Scarlett at yung dalawa niyang anak. Tissue. Quark and Crystal. Tissue, please. Tissue break. Tissue break. Pressure talaga ang magkaroon ng batang anak. Pareho tayo, Vicky. I know, right? I have to live to be 120. Sabay tayo dyan. O, sabi ni David Sinclair, humans should live till 150. O, see? Kaya na, we will break that. Ano? We will break that. Aabutin natin. Aabutin natin yung finish line na yan. So, you mentioned about being a mom to Scarlett, and let's first talk about Crystal and Quark. Oh, Proud ma mama ka. Proud mama. Super. Grabe, my kids. My so son is living now in Singapore. Is diba? he? So no wonder learned. I'm not he's seeing him. He's working with Amazon Prime as wow. the head of Philippine content. Oh, diba? wow. I mean, I'm so happy that he found a way to make his passion, which is telling stories, me and director come true. Wow. My daughter naman is coming home next month. I'm so excited from Adelaide. Yes. With my two chiquitings, I have wow. Hunter who's four, oh. my grandchildren and Sienna was only two, and she left. She was only three months. You're the hottest Lola ever. Oh, diba? Trying. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. hope, but you know, I'm so excited talaga. Kasi right. I've been looking forward to being a Lola for so long, and then these kids, I only have two days left. Oh. Buti na lang, I have Scarlett. Kasi kahit pa paano, meron pa rin bata sa bahay. <laughs> ano pinaka-importante sa palagay mo na dapat mong iwan kay Scarlett? For Scarlett, I just really want, alam mo, nung bata pa si Scarlett. feeling namin ni Hayden, ano, she was destined to be a leader. Kasi one year old pa lang, influentially. It's not like other kids of other stars na naging sikat yung mga bata because the parents are stars. In our case, si Scarlett nakatulong sa akin. Yung followers ko umakyat dahil anak ko siya, di ba? And siya talaga naging star and very smart. So we just need to make her heart good. Long way to go, but as you said... The values are inculcated at this yes. age. Alam mo yan, Corina. So, oh, oh, di ba? Oh, oh. Maintain na lang. Oh, si Scarlett ba magmamana ng belo? Oh, cute niya. Ayaw na ayaw niya maging doktor. Sabi niya before. Gusto oh. niya maging vet kasi she loves animals. She loves you because she loves dogs. Oh. Pero lately, she's, ano, she, I heard her the other day. She's so cute. She said, somebody asked her again, are you going to be a doctor? She goes, you know, I really don't think I wanted to be a doctor. But who will lead Bello if I don't become a doctor? If you see the 32nd anniversary party of Bello, nandun silang lahat. Ganda ni Anne Curtis. Ano ba ginagawa ni Anne? Maganda na siya. Facial, facial lang naman. You know, one thing about Anne, she never touches really anything. Uh -oh. She works hard. Yung uh -oh. katawan niya ngayon, mas sexy kasi before she gave birth. So she does soft wave oh, oh. and she does the Renova for her facials. Um, Derek naman, what does he do? Yeah, facial, you know, I think maintenance is the key. You don't want to have to do the big facelift right. at some point in time if you just keep doing the little things. Yes, yes, so yes. it's so nice to be actually Bello because I see stars. You know, I have Albert Martinez, Christopher De Leon, Richard Gomez from 
32 years ago, right. and then I have the young baguettes now, like Francine Diaz, and yeah, so we have, have Andrea, Andrea Brillante yes, for the young people. Yes. I know <laughs> they're in there from different stations. Oh, 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 so oh. I can babies. put all the people, and then Corina, you are there. <laughs> you are really one of my <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of you, the way you've kept yourself. I mean, you do a little with Bello, but a lot of it is really well, you're just maintaining and taking sabi care nila, Mukha kang bata. Sabi ko, thank you, Bello. <laughs> <laughs> Only Bello touches oh, us. Diba? So, well, congratulations on 32 years. I mean, no, wow, I what a bash. I'd be here, diba, 32 years. But I'm still excited. I still feel young. Okay, what's the secret? Siyempre, tatanungin Passion, ko yun. Passion, excitement. Oh. And all the machines and treatments of Bello, you know, now it's going back the other direction. Hindi, lasers are still in, but now it's a lot of uh, European treatments right. that are all uh, skin quality, mas maganda ang balat, uh -oh. Uh -oh. how to lose weight without surgery, mga ganon. So, pinag-aaralan ko talaga yon, kasi I'll do it for me. I know. But, you know, kay Vicky Bello, uh, talagang, you're, parang renaissance woman, right? Like, you have so many passions. Yes. You have many passions. I, tal we are witness to your passion for life in general. I mean, come on. We're TikTok. so blessed to be here. Yes. Ano yung, TikTok. Eh, hindi, hindi. Uh, Ikinahihiya ako ng iba. Pero ako, hindi. Hindi. Ako alam mo, <laughs> ang, ang, alam mo sinasabi nila lahat? Mm. Well, wala kayong pakialam because she makes her own money the honest way. <laughs> and she looks good at her age. <laughs> so if you don't want to watch, then don't watch. And oh, guess thank what? Thank you. Oh. Million-million ang sumusunod pa rin sa TikTok niya. O anong magagawa Shout out niyo? to TikTok and Instagram. TikTok is fascinating. Mabilis kasi lang eh. Diba? Uh, and Mabilis at least, lang. alam mo, yung mga beauty queens, kasi nag-judge ako ngayon ng mga maraming contests palagi. And all the time, yung mga beauty queens, sabi, Doktor, mag-TikTok tayo. They know me because of TikTok. Right, right. I came from New York. Even on the street, I was walking with a mask. Ha? Right. Young people, Doktor, bello, TikTok! YouTube! <laughs> Ayan, relevance. <laughs> Correct. Without meaning to, actually. But you know, I find TikTok really... You can educate people in a fun way. So that's right. what I try to do with skincare. That's great. And talking about passion, marami pa kayong malalaman about what is the most meaningful to Vicky Bello. Dami eh, para kang ano, sibuyas. Marami Dami layers. mong layers. Oh, nakakahiya. Ay, nakakaiyak. <laughs> So we are now in the room of memories. <laughs> Para museum naman Para museum, grabe, hindi. <laughs> Pero alam nyo, yung mga lumang bagay na tinatago natin, yun yung mga bagay talaga ng kwento ng ating buhay, right? Exactly, oo. The Lalo na when you've lived a long time. <laughs> we've lived as long as we have. <laughs> Ang dami naming memorabilia. Pero may mga bagay talaga na malapit sa puso. So, okay. Let's first talk about this. Yeah, yun ang parang wedding na, gown parang ko. Parang naalala ko ito. Five oh, years ayan. ago, di ba? Was it only five years ago? Yeah, it's our paper anniversary last September 2. Wow. So, my dream was to have a dress by Michael Cinco. Ito naman yung aking pinakabagong gown. <laughs> oh, ito, ito naman yung pinakabagong sa lahat ng bago. Actually, this means more to me than my wedding gown, to be fair. Okay, so, so ipaliwanag natin. I'm an natin. only child, basically, kasi yung parents ko na belo, ako lang yung po yung anak. Um, actually, may deal sila sa parents ko na kansyo na just in case they had kids in their life, they had to return me. Huh? Yeah, so my dad was saying, ay nako, so much stress, so they adopted me legally para hindi na ako pwedeng ibalik-balik. But okay. this is my mom's favorite duster. She was always playing, but you know, my mom, since I was a kid. Take mo na, Vicky, kwento mo na dala-dala mo parati. No, so it's always in my car, because when I'm in my car, I miss them so much. So I hardly ever wash it, so once a year, para lang meron pa rin. And of course, my dad is also so important. Kaya, ito naman yung kanyang barong. And they were asking me for scarlets. Favorite, ano, first designer. Alam mo, I really like to dress up scarlet, kasi parang dal siya. Oh, oh, ang ganda but ito. this dress, it, we don't have her dress anymore because we keep giving it away. Akin naman yan, girl. But ah, okay. the reason, it's hanging in my closet, but she's so cute, even at two years old. Lagi niyang hinahanap tong dress na to kasi meron yeah, because daw. because may cartoons. Meron daddy, oh, oh. mommy, at saka si Scarlett. Yes. So every time she enters the dressing room, mommy, she'll go around, parang hide and seek, looking for this dress. So I make it lipat-lipat para that's her fun, she can look for it. Oh so whenever God. I, this dress I will keep, kasi ang hili ko pa magbigay ng clothes and mm -hmm. shoes. 
because I feel it will leave space for new ones and at least other people can enjoy it. But I'm very careful who to give it to because it has to be a good person because I believe in energy. Baka yung buenas ko pumunta sa iba. Correct. From what you've said, uh, it's all about family. Relationship, family. Relationships, etc. family. But of course, there has to be something important in my room. And this is my new found thing. Do you want to see it? Let's go over <laughs> there. Oh, okay. ano? Okay, so ito ay mukhang pupunta ka sa ibang planeta. Yan! Mm -hmm. O, diba? Light! Time travel. Hindi ba? Lahat ng ito, Lancy and Air Travel para lang ma-interview ang premyadong aktres na si Sylvia Sanchez. Masyado ako naiintriga sa babaeng yan. At ang kanyang kwentong buhay, pero ang interviewhan natin doon sa kanilang bahay bakasyuna ng pamilya at ayde. At nako, pero teka muna, sino ba yung i-interviewin natin at nasaan na siya? Sylvia? Sylvia Sanchez? Yuhu! Nasaan na kaya yun? Sylvia! So sporty naman! Ano? Talagang batang dagat! Wow! Hindi ko kaya yan. Wow! Sinong may alam niyan? Walang may alam niyan! Wala! Sports adventurer pala itong babae ito! Saka naman ang galing! Ano ka ba? Siyempre, may naghahandaan ko pa kayo ng pagkain. Basta ko kumain kayo masarap dito. Second floor. Okay, tingnan natin. Para lalo natin ma-enjoy ang katubigan. Sa episode po na ito, medyo kakaiba. Di ba? Para maiba-iba naman tayo sa mga sa mga ano sa mga kalye ng tundo biak na bato <laughs> blumen trip oh dito naman tayo so kalambuhay ni Sylvia na interview ko na siya dati pero napakaganda ng kwento at lalo namang exciting ang buhay niya ngayon bilang nanay ng isang congressman makikita niyo ang kabilang bahagi ng Sylvia Sanchez na never pa din niya nakita pati kim pa lang yan Anda ka na ba? Anda na. Sana. Sige na. Kakapun pa. <laughs> okay, let's go! Lichunan talaga kung lichunan. <laughs> Bata pa kasi ako ni Skye, ganyan na yung buhay oh, ko eh. Hindi pa kami nagsisimulang magtrabaho. Gusto na namin kumain. Ano ba? Ang aliwalas naman talaga. Sana all. Pwede bang mahiram paminsan-minsan? Oo ba? Inaalok ko nga ito sa'yo. Matagal na. Hindi ba nga? Ba't ba ako hindi nakinig dati pa? Sinasabihan kita dito tayo. Well, ngayon na na-discover na namin ito, ang buong Corina interviews ay hindi na magpapaalam, darating na lang. Okay, so Sylvia Sanchez is in the house. And... Of course, kilala kita, pero mas nakilala pa kita dito sa bigla ang pagpunta sa iyong personal na buhay, mm -hmm. di ba? Pero talagang bata ka palang, artista ka na eh. Seventeen. Seventeen? Yes. Yung grade three ako, alam ko, 
sumasayaw na ako pag may mga parties. Alam mo yun, tapos pag mayroong mga bisita, ako yung pinahaparap ng nanay ko. Performer talaga. Oo. Tapos ang kapal na mukha ko, kumakanta ako, kahit di man, di man ako singer. Totoo. Oo. 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 Ganun. Meron mo pinagalingan yun, nanay, tatay mo, kumakanta, artista? Wala. Ah, wala? Wala talaga. Punta na sipit, Agusan del Norte. Uh -huh. Ano ang mga fond memories mo Doon sa, sa Agusan? Ah, uh, ito. Na mukhang dinala mo dito. Ito. Harap ng dagat. Correct. Oo, kasi yung bahay namin, five minutes walk, dagat na, sa likod, ilog. Tapos, ano ka lang, lakad ka lang ng mga 30 minutes, ano na yun. Uh, uh, Doon kami naglalaba nga sa ilog, tapos bundok na. Ayun. Ayun. Okay. Oo. So, na-miss mo yun. Na -miss pa Parang ang buhay mo talagang nature. Oo. Sabi ko nga, sabi ko nga sa asawa ko si Art, kung pwede lang dalhin yung showbiz sa punta para doon na lang ako tumira. Kasi gusto ko talaga na doon mag-retire. Kaso hindi naman pwede, ba? Diba? So, oh, oh, imbis oh. na dalhin ko yung showbiz, eh, imposibleng madala ko doon. Ako na lang yung naghanap dito ng... Correct. May dagat din. Dito ako nare-relax. Pag napapagod ako sa Maynila, dito ako nare-relax. Dito ako sinacharge yung sarili ko. Natutuwa ako kasi yung ang dami kong kamag-anak, syempre, uh, lahat ng titas ko, pinupuntahan ko, tas nahikikain ako, tas meron din akong balot-balot. <laughs> yung dating ginagawa ko nung bata, nahikikain ka ako sa lima, li, pinaka, ano, konting bahay lima. Alam mo yung iba, kapag nabago na yung buhay nila, halimbawa, talaga, okay na, okay na ako dito, successful, hindi na kadalasang binabalikan pa yung nakaraan, bakit parang importante para sa'yo na balik-balikan mo yung agusan? Mas masarap yung buhay doon eh. Nagkataon lang na dito ako nagtrabaho sa Manila, dito ako pinalad, pero mas, mas peaceful doon eh. Dito kasi alikabok, alam mo yun, paglabas mo, traffic. Paglabas ko doon sa bahay, nakachinelas lang ako, shorts lang ako, t-shirt lang na hindi ako naka-makeup, kaya kong gawin hanggang ngayon. Okay. Tsaka masaya yung buhay doon. May peace of mind ka. So, minimaintain mo? Feeling mo? Pero saan ka magre-retire? Dito. Ito. Dito. Yes. Oh, Tapos, oh. uwi-uwi ako. Tapos, actually, Miss Corina, si dinadala ko rin yung mga anak ko doon. So, oh. sana yung mga anak ko doon? Sila, Argetria. Kung ano yung buhay ko, in-introduce ko rin sa kanila. Correct. Pinayakap ko rin sa kanila. Kasi kailangan, kasi masarap yung buhay na ganun, simple lang. Yes. Well, oh. totoo yan. Lalo na yung pinili mong profesyon. So, mula agusan, ano, lumangoy ka papuntang Metro Manila. Manila. Yes. <laughs> Nakaya ko. <laughs> Galing mo sa tubig, ha? Bili ba ko sa'yo? Grabe, ha? Pwede ka pala sa action. Mm -mm. Paano ka na-discover? Si Mother Lily naman yun. Siya kasi, ano, uh, Pekin Galiaga, si Lori Reyes, sila yung naka-discover sa akin. Tapos, uh, naghahanap kasi sila ng, um, uh, i-introduce no na girls oh, with oh, Richard, oh. Uh, Richard Gomez. Right, right. And Alma Moren. Yeah. Kaso, hindi natuloy kasi nabuntis nun si Alma. Ah, kaya yeah. sa'yo napunta? Hindi, hindi rin natuloy. Pero in-introduce ako sa ibang... Uh, movie. Okay. Nagkaroon ako ng bagong movie. Tapos tuloy-tuloy-tuloy-tuloy na. Maraming gusto maging artista. Paano ba ma-discover? Ano yan? mag apply ka? Magpapakyut ka sa isang tabi? Ngayon, mabilis. Kasi di ba may mga reality show? May, di ba may mga kung ano-anong show na na audition ka lang. Nandun yes. na yun, di ba? Pero dati hindi eh. Nung panahon mo, mahira pa. Mahira. Mahira, so, mahira. Swerte ka na lang pag na-discover ka. Tapos, yung ako naman, uh, yun, kinuha ako ni Peke Galiaga, nila, ano, nakita nila ako. Tapos, doon na, nag-start na ako, binild up nila ako, ni Mother Lily. So, si Alma noon, sikat na sikat yun noon. Oh, oh. One of your idols. Actually, si Alma na ganda na ko sa kanya. Nung, nung, ang ganda kasi naman talaga mukha. Oh, Pero oh. talagang, ang pinangarap ko talagang, yung path lang, yung, alam mo, yung career path oh. niya. Gusto ko lang talagang maging Ganon yung kahit umalis siya ng abroad, pagbalik dito, pinagkakaguluhan siya. Pero nung bata kasi palagi ko siya nakikita, mahilig siyang manampal, si Sherry Hill. Siya talaga yon Tapos, uh, na, na ano ako, gustong gusto ko yung movie niya with Sharon Coneta. Ah, yung sampala. Si Sharon talaga, isa sa mga idol ko yon oh. Doon sa Sanay Wala ng Wakas. Yes. Pero, uh, awang-awa ko kay Sharon, pero gustong gusto ko yung career, ka, career path ni Sherry na Manampal lang. <laughs> Mangaway lang. Ano mo yun? Ang hirap. Iyak na iyak. Oh. Yung ganun. So, galing na galing ako nung kay Sharon. Gustong gusto ko. Marisal Soriano. Oh, oh, Ay, tuwang-tuwa ako nun. Kasi, ba diba, oh. siya yung mataray na nagdadrama, pa-comedy. Oh. At biro mo mula sa pagiging isang fan, nagsunod, sunod, yes. sunod, sunod, sunod na. <laughs> Makakalabas na ako. Pero hindi ko pa rin alam kung napatawad mo na ako. 
Ayoko siyang makita dahil natatakot ako baka hindi ko mapigilan ang sarili kong sumabog ang galit ko dahil sa pinagdaanan ko sa kanya. Tama na ate. Ayoko nang makinig sa mga trauma mo. Paulit, ulit, ulit mo na lang ako sinasaktan. So prolific. Grabe. Hindi ka napapagod. Napagod ako nung huli kong role. But grateful ako doon. Kasi yes. ang ganda-ganda ng role ni Barang oh, oh. sa Huwag Kang Mangamba. Yung talaga literal ko na first role ko na off-cam, iniiyakan ko talaga. Bakit? Nakakapagod siya. Kasi instinctive siya na, na character eh. So kahit nasa isang tabi lang ako, walang dialogue, nakatingin lang. Pero dahil lahat ng emosyon ng tao, instinctive siya. So, nakukuha ko. Pag umiyak yung isang karakter, naiiyak ako. Pag tumawa to, tatawa siya. So, gumipad ako. Wow! <laughs> Parang umiiyak ako. Parang, ayun, ang mag-artista. Parang ganun. Pero syempre, hindi yun naman pwede, di ba? Pero, oh. oo, sabi ko, ah, kailangan ko ba talaga to? Parang maya-maya, taping ng taping ng taping ng taping. Gumanan ako dahil sa role na yon. Saan mo nakukuha yung hugot ng lahat ng emosyon mo? Kilala ka doon, ah. Kilala ka doon sa talagang, well, magaling na artista. Thank Premiado. You. Pero saan ang gagaling yun? Hindi kasi lahat meron yan. Hindi. Ang saya lang ako. Hindi ako umiyak. May malungkot ako. Kasi dati si Barang, mag-isa lang palapoy-lapoy. Tapos ayaw siya yung mga tao. Lagi siya sinasakta. Naniniwala kasi ako na para gifted. Gift talaga sa akin. Innate ko yun na uh, kahit ako nagugulat ako, may mga binibigay, pag, pag, pag rumorol yun na, merong, alam mo yun, meron akong binibigay na kahit ako nagugulat. Uh, ano talaga, Miss Kay? Parang uh, ini-embrace ko rin kasi. Sobra. Dinadala yung, mo sa bahay? Na, sa sobrang pagkayakap ko sa karakter na yon Kaya hmm. siguro na sobra akong pagod kay Barang. Kasi yun na nga, in-embrace kong mabuti yun. Tinanggal ko talaga si Sylvia, pinasok ko yung si Barang. Kaya nadadala ko sa bahay. To the point, sinasabihan na ako ng asawa ko na tanggapin mo na lahat ng role. Huwag mo lang tanggapin yung pagiging baliw. Kasi nadadala ko. Kasi biglang, na, nararamdaman ko na lang sabi niya, huy, anong ginagawa mo? Ha? Ah, bakit? <laughs> Kung nga ganun ako. Usapan natin yan na may struggle din, di ba? May struggle. Oo. Ang tingin sa'yo, hindi ka marunong umarte. Alam mo yun, may mga panlalait. Naranasan ko yun, merong mga hindi nagtitiwala. Pero kasi the more na ginaganon ako, nilalait ako, the more na uh, ninenegative ako, the more na nagkakaroon ako ng lakas ng loob, na lumalaban ako pero tahimik, sinasabi ko sa sarili ko, sige, sige lang, isang araw. Makikilala nyo rin ako, yung, yung acting ko kung anong meron ako. Isang araw, titingilain din ako. Ang dami ko naranasan na gano'n, naiiyak na lang ako sa Santa Bay. Minsan hindi ako papansin ng isang tao kung sino man sa showbiz. Totoo yan, naranasan ko yan. Uh, naranasan ko na parang dinadaan-daanan lang, mag ako ni hindi ako titingnan. Alam mo yun, o di kaya. Basta ipapa, ano nila, yung ipapa, mara, nararamdaman ko yun. Pero kasi, of course, nasasaktan ako tao ko eh, pero... Ginagawa ko kasi yung challenge yun eh. Tiniturn ko sa pagiging positibo yun. Lagi lumalaban ako. Oh. And ako yung, sige lang, isang araw na. Isang araw ka lang. Titingilain mo rin ako na maruno ako umate. Ganon. Oh. At ngayon, tinitingala ka na oh. nga talaga, di ba? At dumating na nga yung greatest love. Yes. Okay. Pero ka paboritong eksena? Ang sa... dami. Ang dami oh. yung ano, paboritong eksena. Pero paborito ko eksena yung siyempre yung... Uh, ito yung pinaka-famous na eksena, yung um, nasa table kami lahat, tapos nag-aaway-aaway yung mga anak ko. So, from normal, biglang pum. Alam mo yun, parang naanok ako na, na, na nawala sa pag-iisip. Umandar yung Alzheimer, inatake ako. So, from normal na naguguluhan ako sa kanila, bakit kayo nag-aaway, biglang blanco. Tapos, tinanong ko sila, Sino ba kayo? Ba't kayo nag-aaway-aaway sa bahay ko? Sino kayo? 
anong ginagawa niyo sa bahay ko. Alam mo yung gano'n? Oo, oh, oh, correct, correct. Yun, paborito Powerful ko yun. Scene. Yes, kasi bakit ko paborito yun? Dahil hindi, ang alam niyo lang, yun lang yung eksena. Mm-hmm. Pero, bago nag-take nun, nag-re-rehearsal pa lang kami, ang ginawa ko, iyak ako ng iyak sa rehearsal. Kasi, kailangan kong ilabas yung iyak, kailangan kong ilabas yung, ilabas, tanggalin yung emosyon. Kasi di ba Alzheimer's, wala na. Wala na pakiramdam. Wala na. Walang kilala. Hindi ka iyak nun. Wala. Oh. Tapos nung nag, uh, nag-roll yun na, sila na ngayon umiiyak. Ang hirap-hirap nun kasi sila iyak ng iyak ako. Nak- nakatingin ako sa lahat sa kanila na andun yung emosyon. Kailangan mo rin pag-aralan yung may Alzheimer's talaga. Yes. So, ang ginawa ko, Miss Kay, nung, uh, uh, miss, uh, nung panahon na yon ongoing yung show, andun ako sa may mga Alzheimer's, kinakausap ko sila, tinitingnan ko yung nuance nila, mga nuances nila, tinitingnan ko yung galaw nila lahat. Correct. So, kailangan kong pag-aralan, embrace yung character na yon And yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, na-embrace naman. You got it. Bakit ka nga ba parating ano, parating uh, lusaw? <laughs> Sorry ah, parating lusaw, pawis, mahirap, nasa barong-barong, nasisiraan ng bait. Talagang doon ka napupunta, bakit siguro ang galing mo humugot? Oh, siguro oo, doon ako mas minahal. Doon ako mas minahal. Ha? Doon doon ako ako mas minahal. minahal. Sinabi ko nga kay, uh, kay, kay Tita Corey, sinabi ko, Tita Corey, pwede ako mag-comedy. <laughs> magaling ka, to- magaling ako, maniwala ka. Loko-loko ako sa totoong buhay. Hindi, kontrabida ka noon. Ngayon, Tita Cory, gusto ko ng ano, ah, gusto ko nang bumalik sa pagkakontrabida. O, kung kinakausap ka, hindi, dyan ka. <laughs> Dito ka, for me yan, nanay ka sa masa. Kasi daw nga, ang bilis ko daw, ay, magpaiyak. Parang ganun sabi ko, marami naman nagpapaiyak. Pero sabi na hindi, dyan ka, dyan ka. Sabi nga, mahalin mo yung trabaho mo para mahalin ka rin ang trabaho. Ayun. At doon ka minahal. Doon ako Doon ka sa mga role na gano'n minahal. Tsaka mas masarap yun. Totoo ba? Oo. Kasi, pag mahirap ka, pwede kang, di ba, oh. pag natulog, pag sinabing, oh, ikaw na, uh, oh. Miss Sylvia, ikaw na, Wala yung suklay. Ako. Wala yung suklay. <laughs> Pusod na lang. Alam mo yun. Tabango na lang. Tara. Oh. Oh. Pero, pag mayaman ka, make up, maintain, buhok mo na sisira, dal ka blower, ka plancha, mas masarap yun. Tsaka yung mga damit, hindi hindi mahal. Oo, oo nga. <laughs> Ma, oo. Totoo, oo. no? Kaya tayo nandito ngayon <laughs> ay para makilala natin yung kabilang banda ni Sylvia na hindi masyadong alam ng iba. Handa ka na ba? <laughs> handa na. Handa na, kahapon pa. Kaya tayo nandito ngayon <laughs> ay para makilala natin yung kabilang banda ni Sylvia na hindi masyadong alam ng iba. Handa ka na ba? Handa na. Handa, handa na. Kahapon pa. At na in love na sa wakas. Ilan ang mga naging manliligaw mo? Aminin. Yeah. Pirili talaga. Dami. Dami. Madami. Oh, oh, Mapihikan ka sa manliligaw. Hindi... Hindi ako basta-basta nagkakagusto eh. Pero pag nagkagusto ako, yun yun. Bakit naman si Art Atayde ang nakabingwit sa iyong um, nakabaon na puso? Matyaga eh. Ah, matyaga? Matyaga. Tsaka mabait talaga siya. Oo. Mabait siya talagang tao. Uh, pero noong una, hindi ko siya gusto. Alam niya yun. Okay. Oo, kasi, mistiso. Hindi mo tayo pang mistiso. Hmm. Okay. So, siguro, di ba, pag mistisa ka raw, hindi oh, oh. mistiso yung ganun. Tapos, okay. eh, matyaga, na in love. Okay. Oo, so, gwapo naman. Oo, oh, oh, pogi naman oh, siya. Oo, oh, gwapo. Okay. So, mabuti na kahit na magkasama na kayo, halimbawa, boyfriend na, na pangasawa mo, pinapayagan ka pa rin yung mag-artista. Pinapayagan niya ako kasi nakilala naman niya ako sa showbiz. Ano yung sinabi ko, hindi mo ko pwedeng stop kasi meron ako breadwinner ako sa Mindanao. Hate ko yung manghingi sa kanya ng pera para ibigay sa pamilya ko or sa layaw ko kasi ayokong sinusumbatan pagdating sa pera. Gusto Bakit ko... pareho tayo pagdating sa ganyan? Yan yung reason. Oh, kaya pala. Yes. So, totoo lang, pwede ka namang huminto. Hindi ka naman maguguto. Hindi. <laughs> Pero, tuloy-tuloy ka pa rin kasi marami kang tinutulungan. Oo, oh, sa probinsya. At saka, ayoko talaga. Ayoko maging aakos ng away namin yung pera. Kasi syempre, pag wala akong trabaho, automatically, kukuha ako sa pera namin. I mean, di ba, yung pinaghirapan niya. At least, magtitaping ako. 
pera na kung di ba kahit pera namin yun pero sarili kung pa, pinagtrabahuan ko rin yun at naintindihan niya yun sinasabi ko sa kanya I believe in that talagang ang babae dapat may sarili siya di ba yes. no? Yes para, para hindi ko apihin para hindi, hindi ka apihin hindi ko sasabihin nasa isang tabi ko lang ay oh. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> hindi pwede <laughs> Ano na bago sa buhay mo nung magkasama na kayo ni Art? Yan, natuto ako mag-alaga. I mean, nag nagluto. Hindi ka nagluluto dati? Hindi. No way. Hindi, itlog Ang lang siya ka mga magluto, ano. No. Oh, mga sardinas, mga corn beef, mga kung ano-ano. Basta niluluto ko yun lahat. So, proud pa ako. Kainin mo, nakaredy, may itlog, ganun. Hanggang... Maya-maya, nakikita ko bakit sinasabi niya na, alam mo, uh, ayokong busog na ako. Lagi niya sinasabi, busog na ako, hindi siya kumakain ng pagkain ko. Unang ginawa ko, ball pen, papel, lagi akong meron sa bag ko. Kahit nasa hotel, anong pagkain to? Ganon. Ang, ang una ko nilapitan yung mayordoma nila, yung nanayaya niya since two years old siya, si Nanay Perlina, na hanggang ngayon nasa amin. Wow! Yes, yun yung uh, na, na, Nanay Perl, anong paborito niyang pagkain, anong ganyan. Ano ang number one ko? favorite na pagkain ni Art? Ang paborito niyang pagkain, ay, mapasta yun. Ah, pasta. Mm -hmm. Mapasta siya talaga. Okay. Ganun. Tapos, ang dami niyang paborito. Lechon, gusto niya. Kinarear mo oh, talaga Spanish, ang pagluluto. Spanish, yes. Oo. Oh, oh. Ang ginawa ko, nag-aral, nag nag-aral, yung sariling sikap. Oh. Pagpupunta kami sa isang restaurant, kakausapin ko yung waiter na, sige na naman. Kinukuha ko sa charm ko. Oo, oh, correct, <laughs> oh. correct, correct, correct. Alika, alika. Akin na, ano, ano, ano yan. So you got the best of everything from everywhere. Yes. Oo. So, hanggang sa uh, isang araw, uh, dumating kasi din sa punto na uh, one year na akong walang show. Nung naiisip ko at nararamdaman ko na na nagsiself-pity na ako at iba na yung utak ko, kinat ko yon nag-aral ako. Pumasok ako sa uh, culinary arts. Hanggang sa umuwi na siya, may pagkain na ganon. Kaya naman pala. Oh, oh. Ang sarap magluto Yan. talaga ni Silvia. Kaya pala. Oh, oh. Okay. Apat na anak. Okay. Yes. Si Arjo at si Ria palang nakilala ko kasi. O, oh, ayan. Pero pinlano ba ninyo yung apat? Pinlano yung apat naming anak? Hindi. Parang okay lang. Oh, oh. Alam mo yung uh, dumating, inong kami, nagbuntis ako, andyan si Arjo, tapos nagbuntis ako ha, na yung papaakyat ako ha. Sa Rigal, dumating si Arjo, so kailangan ko mag-stop. Tapos balik na naman ako, papaakit na naman, budumating si Ria. Yun, hanggang sa, teka muna, tigil muna. Ang pinlano ko, si Chavi at si Jetta. Na gusto ko, pag itong edad ako, meron pa akong baby, meron pa akong bata. Kaya ang laka, la, laki ng gap ni yeah. Jella at ni Ria. Jella, Ria is 30, Jella is 20. Wow! Yes, kasi gusto kong... May baby pa. May baby. Tapos, Jella, 20 ngayon si Jella, Chavi is 12. Oh, laki din ng gap. Uh Oo. -oh. So, alam mo yun. So, isa-isahin natin sila. Okay, so sa ngayon, anong hilig ng bunso? Si, gusto ko daw niyang maging marine biologist. Marine biologist? Yes. So, parating na sa dagat. Uh, nandito siya, 9 o'clock pagkagising niya, mag, mag jet ski siya. Two hours siyang nawawala. 12 years old ha, ang wow. tapa. Okay. Si Jella, Jella, gusto niyang, ano yun eh, hip-hop. Dancer yun eh. So, nagkukumpit siya abroad. When in fact, nagkumpit, nagkumpit na siya sa Florida, nanalo na siya yung Puveda group nila. Puveda, oh. yes. Mga insyende. Grupo oh, oh. ng, oh, dance oh. group ng Puveda. Mm -hmm. So, sinamahan ko sa Florida, nagkumpit sila, nag-champion sila doon. Doon oh. siya ako nag-concentrate. O, oh, saan naman nagmana ng hip-hop na dancer? Sa amin ni Art. Dancer. <laughs> 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 Oo, tapos, oh. yun, gusto niya maging director. Pero may duda ako eh. Susunod sa pag-aartista eh. Ah. May duda ako. Malakas din yung dugo ko. Kaya sabi ko kay Art, sorry, walang business man. <laughs> Oo oh, oh, nga. Walang, mukhang mas malakas yung dugo so, ko. So, anong style niyo ni Art? Kung ano ang gusto ng anak ninyo na pasukin, yun ang sinusuportahan ninyo? Sinusuportahan namin yun. Pero sinasabi ko pa rin sa kanila na mag, ano kayo ng negosyo ng daddy nyo, alamin nyo yun. Kahit yung daddy nila, inaano ni yung daddy nila na kailangan alam nyo yung negosyo ko para pag, ba diba, lahat, di naman ta, lahat naman nawawala eh. Para pag wala siya, sila yung sasalo right, lahat. Right. And talking about Ria, mm -hmm. naku, may mga kwento sa kanilang dalawa ni Sanjo Marudo. Totoo ba? Galing sa nanay. Malalaman natin ang totoo. Anong totoo? Ang huli namin pagkikita ni Ria, sinabi, nag-uusap kami kasi hiwalay na kami ng bahay eh. 
uh, solo na siya. Sinabi niya, hindi pa daw. Pero, nagliligawan, parang... Uh, nagpaparamdaman. Oo, nagpaparamdaman eh. Ganon. Pero, hindi ko masabi na, na oo oh, oh, talaga. Kasi hindi pa si... Wala pang pag-amin eh. Wala, pang, wala pa talaga. Correct. So, you're very liberal with your children. I mean, ako naniniwala ako doon at some point ang 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 anak eh bumukod na kung yes. kaya na nila sarili nila. Oo. Ikaw yung tipong hindi mo sila pipigilan. Noong una syempre pinigilan ko kasi parang nalulungkot ako but kailangan mag let go ka talaga bilang nanay eh. Kaya anatin sila, hinayaan ko silang humanap, hanapin yung sarili nilang buhay pa. Matuto din kasi alam mo naman di ba na hindi naman tayo ha habang buhay, buhay sa mundong ito. Para pag na wala ako, kaya nila. Ay, at strong sila na tao. And you are now a political mom. <laughs> Inasahan mong mangyayari yun. Empty. Parang hindi ko inasak si magaling kong Marte si Arjo. Mm. Award winner. So, aba Netflix star. Yes. So, bakit napunta sa politika? Yun din yung question ko. Oh. <laughs> Yun din yung question ko. Biglang boom. Bilang heto, si Arjo tumakbo. Oo. Oh, oh. Nag ano siya. Siya talagang may gusto. Siya may gusto. Actually, hindi ko alam. Ah. Kasi nung, nung meron pa nga tumawag sa akin na mga reporters asking kung totoo yung balita na magtatakbong congressman si Arjo. So sabi ko, sagot, hindi totoo. Kasi hindi man sinasabi sa akin eh. Then, ang dami ko nang nakikita na ginagawa niya, sabi ko, ay, isang araw, sabi ko, umuwi ka nga dito, tatakbo ka, no? Sabi niya, yes, ma'am. Ah, yun talaga ang gusto niya. Oh, Natanong oh. mo na sa kanya kung bakit? Anong influensya? Actually, nung high school, okay, nung high school yan, nagsabi daw yan sa brother niya sa ano, sa pag tinatanong siya ng mga brothers ng Lasal, sinasabihan siya, anong gusto mo, paglaki mo? Sinasabi daw niya, sinador. Oo, oh, hindi mo alam yun. Yun ang hindi ko alam na gano'n yung pangarap niya. Oh. Kasi ang alam ko lang, artista. Pero meron pa sa, siya pa talagang pangarap. Yun oh. yung gusto niya. Correct. Siguro dahil ito nga yun, yung kwento niyan, sabi niya, gusto kong tumulong. Gusto kong tumulong. When in fact, ngayon sasabihin ko, Nak, o, oh, kumusta? Sabi ko, uh, paano mo gustong makilala dyan sa politics? Ang sinasabi niya talaga, Mami, ayokong makilala bilang mabuting o magaling na politician. Gusto kong makilala as ano magaling na public servant. Mm. 'Yun ang gusto niya kasi 9 years old baka uh, I'm sure wala namang masyadong may alam nito. 9 years old dinadala ko nga sila sa Mindanao. Ni Ria 7 years old si Ria noon. Tapos every year hanggang ngayon, mula 9 years old are just 31 now hanggang ngayon, namimigay sila ng mga kung ano-ano dun sa mga kababayan ko. So lumaki silang ganun, lumalaki, lumala, lumaki silang tumulong. Ah, uh, mulat sila sa buhay ng mahihirap. Mahihirap. Oo. Mulat sila sa buhay ng may kaya. Yes. May pera. Alam Oo. mo 'yun. So, para kasi ang unang nung lumabas sila, mga bata sila, lumalaki silang mulat lang sila sa mundo ng daddy nila, nila na merong merong kaya, may pera, kayang bilhin gusto nilang bitin, mabu mabu ah, may yaya, hatid sundo sa school. Mulat sila ng ganoon. Hanggang sa sabi ko sandali lang, paano yung mundo na alam ko? yung mahirap, yung minsan kinakapos. Kaya ang ginawa ko, binalanse ko, dinala ko sila sa Mindanao. Baka kasi isang araw, di ba, pag ito lang alam ng mga bata, kaya nila, baka hindi mo maiwasan, iba yung tingin nila sa mga mahirap. Ayoko kung mangyari yun, kasi Oo. ako yun, ako yun. Mukhang hindi titigil sa pagiging congressman itong si ano, Arjo. Mm -hmm. Mukhang malayo pa ang karera niya dyan, ano. At hanggang sa umabot na sa kasalan, handa ka na ba? Handa ka na ba na magkamanugang? Handa na ako. <laughs> Handang-handa na ako. Ipetsa na ba ang kasal ni Arjo and Maine? Wala, hindi ko pa alam kasi hindi naman sila nagsasabi sa akin eh. Pero syempre, alam ko yun na yung kasunod. Kasi mm -hmm. gusto na nila eh. Pero yung date, hindi ko tinatanong, hindi ko, hinahayaan kung si Arjo magsabi sa akin. Uh, diba yung, okay. kailan ba na? Sabi niya, malapit na ma, malapit na. Yun yung ganon. Kasi Totoo. syempre, oh, gusto ko na magkaapo. Magkaapo, no? talagang pressure na kailangan oh. mag-anak na sila kaagad. <laughs> Pero syempre, bahala sila kung gusto nila, di ba? Pero oh. parang gusto na ng dalawa eh. Oo. Oh. Alam mo, ikaw talagang babaeng walang pahinga. Parang pinanganak ka ng lagarista talaga. Correct. Kasi, di ba? <laughs> 
ang dami mong tentacles, girl. Mm. Talagang ano ka, artista, nanay, homemaker, and also now producer and yes. endorser. Yes. Wala talagang pahinga. Bakit parang, bakit, bakit ganun ka? Parang, ano ba, parang, ba, parang wala nang bukas. Ay, hindi naman, siguro dahil, Naghirap ako eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? Gusto ko lang maging yung yung buhay ko noon. Ayokong maranasan ng mga anak ko. You are going to Cannes very soon. Ano naman ang gagawin nyo doon? October 15. Yeah, oo. Oh. Ano uh, gagawin ninyo sa Cannes? May pinuproduce daw kayo doon. Yes. Uh, Nag-produce kasi kami ng Katlia Killer mm -hmm. uh, with ABS. Yun. Mm -hmm. Tapos, um, dadalhin namin doon sa Cannes. Nipcom. Mm -hmm. Ang Nipcom ay bentahan, ano yan? Parang uh, bentahan yan ng mga series ng iba't ibang bansa. Or pwede ka rin pumunta doon para pwede ka rin bumili. Hindi ito yung fe festival. Ah. Kasi pag sinabi natin kan ang alam lang natin, kan Film Festival. Hindi. Maraming nagaganap sa ng showbiz doon sa sa Cannes. Mm -hmm. Isa tong Meetcom. So, ipipresent namin nun. Wow! Pinoodos namin, dalhin namin si Arjo uh -oh. yung bida. Ayun, uh -oh. ganun. Uh -oh. Like ngayon, nagpuproduce na ako kasama ng mga anak at asawa ko. Gusto kong mamulat kung ano yung pwedeng mabenta abroad. Hindi lang dito sa atin. Eh kasi bukas na ang merkado ng global. Yes, ang na platforms, di ba? Oh, global na, na talaga. Oh. Siyempre, pag ma ma mag-produce ka, mangarap ka na hindi lang dito, abroad din. Di ba? Mm -hmm. So, gusto kong mag-observe kung ano, kung ano mga genre ang putok doon, kung ano yung mga mabenta doon. Which is, ginawa ko yan noon eh, yung film festival. Pinag-uusapan dito, producing. Pagpo-produce, oh, diba? Oh. So, may perang involved. Ayaw kong basta-basta mag-produce na alam kong malunugi ako. Correct. So, that's your producer hat. And nanay hat. Pero meron din siyang endorser hat. Maganda yun. Kikita tayo doon. <laughs> doon tayong dalawa. Ano ba yung, oh, doon tayong dalawa. Beauty <laughs> derm tayong, tayong dalawa. Tayo, Pero sineseryoso mo yung beauty derm mo. You're so involved. Oo. Oh, yung store ako. Oh, Kasi, oh, may diba, store ka oh, rin. Maganda naman yung produkto. Naniwala ako. Yes. Maganda talaga. Hindi pambobola. Eh, di oh, oh. benta ko. Eh, tulong din yun. Kung isa nga nalilingat ako, kala ko nasa likod kita sa mall. Yung pala, standy. <laughs> Parang ikaw rin. Para tayo mas study, ah. <laughs> Hindi ba? And the latest And is... And nakakatuwa. Sorry. Sa nakakatuwa sa age natin, meron tayong gano'n. Yeah. <laughs> meron tayong standy. Okay lang sa'yo, plus size. Okay lang. Eh, malaki Totoo naman ako. Ba? Sabi ko nga sa'yo, hahabulin kita, pero posibleng humabos. Hindi. Ako, ako alam, ako alam mo, eh. mas masaya ang buhay kung ako ang hahabol oh, sa'yo. Okay? Hindi. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Gusto ko ganito, parang okay lang sa akin. So, plus size for bench, right? Yes. Why? Hindi ako namimili. Parang, kaya nga ako artista, di ba? Artista is to portray different kinds of, di ba? Parang mga roles. Iba-ibang role yung gagampanan mo. Correct. Okay, meron na tayong producer hat, nanay hat, artista hat. O, eto na ngayon. At wife hat. Meron pa siyang ibang sombrero dahil ang sarap magluto ni Sylvia. <laughs> Hindi ako makapaniwala, kailan ka lang natuto ha. Ang sarap niyang magluto, ang galing niyang mamahay, mag-ayos ng bahay, at maraming iba pang hindi niyo nalalaman about Sylvia Sanchez. Parang kulang pa ang handa. Parang kailangan pa yata ng ano. Doblihin natin ito. Doblihin natin. Ganito talaga araw-araw. Ganito pag nandito ang sawat mga anak ko. Totoo. Mahilig kasi kaming kumain yung ambisyon namin. Oo. Oh, so, Yun. talagang ano, talagang ang lechunan ay talagang kayo mismo ang mm -hmm. nagle-lechon. Tama. Right? So, lechon manok. Lechon manok, merong lechon baboy. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung sabi mo nga, ka talaga na mulat, di ba, mm -hmm. dati. Pero yung iba't ibang mga putahing ito, timpla mo talaga yan. Oo, oo natutunan ko nga. Oo. Dahil nga sa pagiging insecure, na insecure ako Correct. sa asawa ko na hindi ko makain sa bahay, kaya oh. nag-aral ako ng nag-aral ng nag-aral. Okay, kung ganito karami, nauubos naman nila. Hindi, pero marami <laughs> dito kumakain eh. <laughs> Correct, marami nakikisaw-saw. Uh. Hindi ba para sa babae, ano, kailangan... Okay lang sumobra, wag lang kukulang. Yes. Diba? Pero, Miss Kay, ang ginagawa namin, pag hindi siya obos ng lunch, 
Pwedeng dinner. Oo. Oh, oh, Ganun oh, oh. ginagawa namin. Correct. Dapat naman ganun. Kaya kailangan malaking refrigerator. Yes. Pero sa nakikita ninyong pagkain ngayon dito, hindi lang yan ha. Sylvia is, has great taste sa bahay. Isa lang ito sa mga bahay na napundar ng mag-asawang atayde. I love it. Tada! Look at the palette. It's all gray. And look at the screen. Pang artista talaga. One of the bedrooms. I love the banyo. The guest room. With a nice upuan inside. And the nice painting. Magaganda ang paintings ni Sylvia. Marunong siyang pumili. So, napakaganda. Napakaganda ng taste. At inaayon mo sa gusto ng at lifestyle ng mga bata. Mga bata. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo pinipilit yung type mo. Hindi. Yung, yung style mo talaga, ano ang style mo? Gusto ko lang din ng ganyan. Yung simple yung lang. Yung simple na. lang. Yung alam yun, hindi Oo. maraming Oo. abubot kung ano-ano man. Correct. Yung ganun lang. Pero meron kang koleksyon ng Wonder Woman, ha? Ay, akin yun. Kasi Wonder Woman baby hindi ako. Hindi daw mahilig sa abubot. So, hindi na lumalabas sa kahon ito? Hindi. Ay, yan. Hindi ko pa. Mahilig ka sa Marvel? Yan ang gano'ng tao. Nangungulikta ako niyan. Uy, mahal ito, ha? Pag hindi mo tinanggal sa kahon. Oh. Ang kinukulik ko lang si Groot, si Dooby, ah, uh, <laughs> natawa ka, no? Avengers, tsaka Wonder Woman. Okay, why Wonder Woman? Kasi lumaki ako, na yun yung sikat. Ah, so, okay. nanonood ako nun sa TV hanggang kinakatulugan ko. Tapos, sasabihin ko, maano nangyari sa Wonder Woman? Pero, ganon. Okay. Uh -oh. So, ngayon, ayun, si Wonder Woman nasa mga eskaparate niya. <laughs> so, okay. I agree because you really are a Wonder Woman. Totoo nga. Ganon tayo mga nanay. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, full circle talaga, Sylvia. At, Parang hindi ka patapos. Malayo hindi pa. pa. Malayo. Malayo pa. Parang wala sa, wala sa kanyang lingwahe ang retirement. Kahit maging lola? Mm, no. Pa rin. I'm sure mag-aanita linda ka. Hindi ba? Yung hanggang sa ganong edad? Maglilaylo, pero Oo. hindi yung mag-stop talaga. Kasi correct. ito passion ko eh. Yes. Ito buhay ko rin eh. Correct, correct, Ayun. correct. Kaya ayun, pag may time, pa jet ski, jet ski, athletic ka ba talaga? Ano ka ba, basketbolista ka ba dati? Bata pa ako, ano ako, nagta-track track and field ako. Ah, Tumatakbo track? ako ng walang ano, sa Mindanao, sa nasipit. Oh. Tumatakbo akong hindi nakasapatos. Kasi na, masakit yung sapatos sa paa. Naaano oh. ako, bothered ako. Hindi ka napapaso. Hindi, sa sanay init, ako. Ang init sa Mindanao, ha? Ah. Isa ako, one of the boys ako eh. Isa ako sa mga sangga noon nung bata pa ako. Kaya boyish ako. Kaya naman pala kapag kumarurot sa jet ski, <laughs> parang ninenervyos ako. Sabi mo nga, napapailalim mo pa yung jet napapailalim ski. Napapailalim ko, tapos ganyan. Yes. Tapos aangat? Mm -mm. Eh, sumali ka na ng kompetisyon. Dahil, kikita tayo dyan. Uh, mas <laughs> masarap dito. <laughs> o, oh, dito na lang. <laughs> dito Tara, na lang oh, dito ako. na lang, dito na lang. Uh -oh. Maghintay na lang ako ng mga apo ko, Miss Kay. Oo, oh, oh, tuturuan mo ng lahat. Oo, oh, naturuan ko. Okay, kung meron kang, sa lahat ng pinagdaanan mo, marami kang pinagdaanan, and pinagpala ka no, sa iyong buhay ngayon, ano ang gusto mong maiwan sa mga anak mo? Of course, nakikita ka nila. Sa mga apo mo, anong gusto mong iwan na parang leksyon? Leksyon, wag, wag mang mangapak ng tao. Wag, wag, wag maging mayabang. Kahit umangat ka, Oo. maging grounded ka pa rin. Kahit anong angat mo, kahit anong marating mo, wag kang, wag kang akala mo kung sino. Wag nang lalait ng tao. Alam mo yon. Mm -mm. Mas mabuting maging mabuting tao ka pa rin hanggang sa huling hininga mo sa mundong to. Aba! At napakabuti niya talagang tao kasi papakainin niya tayong lahat! <laughs> Pasalamatan si Chef Sylvia and wag na kayong mahiya kunwari. Halika na, kainan na! Tara! Okay! O, oh, ganito daw yan! Ganito daw yan! Ay, ano yan? Oy, malutong pa ang balat, oh. Ito yun. Mm. Sarap. Mm. Pahing suka. Pahing suka, maanghang. Layo Para sa usaw sa lechon. 
Get, get, get. Huh? Pwede mo ako abutan ng kanin. Kaya na kayo. Vanessa. Ayan. Ako, gusto ko ng lecture. Ah, saan si Tan? Tan! Saan si Tan? And they're choosing between me and the guy who looks who's really fucking sunny. Oh, wow! I almost died. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm having a house. Ang haba ng kukopi ko. She's a mountain dog. He climbs trees and rocks. Malalaking, malalaking. Wow. Raymond, I love the dogs. Oh. I love the dog and the cats. Yes, so do uh, I. Living harmoniously together. So, and, they're, and they're drawn to you naturally. Yeah, I love they dogs. Know you're I right. love dogs. I love dogs. So, wala masyadong nakakapunta dito sa bahay mo. So, thanks. Thanks for having us here. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, yes. They will have a hard time going up the stairs. Ayun na nga lang. <laughs> Limang palapag. Lima Kaya nakachinelas ako kanina. Had I known, I would have worn sneakers. Sorry, I know. I should have Kailangan advised fit. you. Kailangan fit. Limang floors talaga inakyat ng lahat ng equipment namin dito. I know. Oh, lalo oh, na ito. Oh, Bigat-bigat na ito. <laughs> But it keeps me fit. Okay. Also, we start na. Ano, hindi ka ba binabagyo dito? Actually, binabagyo kami. Binabagyo. <laughs> yeah, masarap ang hangin. Pag, pag nagbabagyo, medyo it's pretty scary kasi the lakas ng hangin talaga. Totoo? Yeah. But where do you really live? I mean, have you been here in in this place? Somewhere in Makati. I'm not yes. gonna say where. Yes. Have you stayed here long? This is really your base? Uh, my base is Manila, uh, Makati, um, BF Paranaque, but... Um, ang dami mo namang bahay. Yes. Yes, really? but uh, really, because I'm, I'm really a resident in the U.S. Eh. So I don't, because there's always plan of going back. Hindi lang ako makabalik for some reason. I'm just trying to find the right timing, because may mga offers, may mga ganito. But um, Raymond, how can you leave? You're so in demand as an actor here. That's that's. <laughs> right? I know I'm, I'm grateful. Kaya nga I don't know. There's an offer, may offer kasi. Uh, right, I'm right. a manager doon eh. Oh, because you have a manager in the US. Yes, there's a management company that wants to manage me there. But you know, I'm really interested to find out. Kasi medyo iba itsura mo, no? Karamihan sa Pilipino mixed breed because of all the colonizations. So, like I'm part Peruvian, Chinese. That's why, yeah. I see now. Yeah, see Peruvian, now. Chinese, Filipino. Ikaw, alam ko marami kang mix. Yes. Oh, sige. Ano, ano yung, yung ganyan Chinese, itsura? My mother. My Sorry? mother looks very Singaporean. She looks like Lucille Yu. She looked like Lucille Yu when she was in college and high school. No way. Ba't ang laki yes. ng mata mo? Oh. And uh, then Chinese. This is from my, uh, my Spanish na kami. Di ba? Okay, Spanish. Um, Indian British. My Indian grandfather, British. Indian British. Oh, wow. Oh. So, my great-grandfather, mga Punjabi kami. Talagang pure Indian, Punjabi, and... Uh, I usually mix na kasi malalaki na sila eh. Mga big bone, mga mix na with uh, oh, Brit British. Oh, oh. Ganyan pala itsura ng ganong kombinasyon. No? <laughs> <laughs> Ang dami. But as a child, ano pogi ka na talaga? I don't know. <laughs> ano sabi nila sa iyo nung bata ka? Ako, nung bata ako, sinasabihan ako, sure. ay, kalagunan eh, kasi kapampangan kami. Oh, I see. O, nagagandahan sila sa akin nung bata ako. Ikaw, nung palaki ka pa lang, sinasabihan yeah. ka? Yeah, I'm sure. Kasi, yun na nga yung sinasabi ko minsan. Uh, sabi sa akin, oh, magkakaroon ko na maraming girlfriend, ha? yung ganyan, maraming ang girlfriend. So I thought, okay pala magkaroon na maraming girlfriend. Ha? Yan pala, hindi pala okay yun. Dapat isa-isa lang. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, alam mo, I'm very careful with my kids. Yes. Because what you tell them, they remember. Yes, still yun eh. Oo. Oh, yes. Pag sinabi mo, magkakaroon ka maraming girlfriend, baka talaga maging babaero, ano? Yes. Oh, so yes, ma mabuti na pigilan. Careful. Mabuti na pigilan mo. At the beginning when I was, you know, syempre puberty stage, you thought it was okay. Oh, dapat may girlfriend ka, na, may girlfriend. Ka. After a while you realize hindi pala okay 'yun, nakakasakit ka pala. Akala mo proud the proud ka kasi sabi ng mga kamag-anak ko, oh, dapat daw marami akong girlfriend eh. Oh, 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 oh. So I agree, you have to be careful with children. Yeah, what you tell them is what happens. Yes. So you're the eldest of eight kids. Yes. But not all from the same 
mother. Eclectic. Eclectic. Eclectic family. What's common? The father. Yes. Right? Yes. And different moms. Yes. But with your mom, ikaw lang. Uh, I have another sister. Uh, she's, she's younger than me. She's in Australia. She has a family. Right, right. But I hear that you're all very close. Yes. I'm, I'm their kuya. I'm very close to them. My father had a, an amazing um, ability to put it all, all together at one point in our lives. And um, we're very chilled family. We don't have much issues with, you know, half siblings. But as I'm in full talaga, I say my father's very loving to us. You know, so we all reach out to each other. I mean, we all get each other for some reason. So you mean you really grew up together? I mean, separate houses, but you meet each other often. I would grow up with a few later on, then later on some, someone will come, and then I would go to Australia, and then they will come together. All of them start coming together, and then I will stay for a year, mga isang taon, so I get to bond with them. After that, close na kayo. Malalim na Okay, so to this day, you're all close. And yes, super. Ano yung kayo? Oh, super close talaga. Talaga? Parang walang pinagbago, like even before nung mga bata kami. Mm. For some reason, that's the, a really good trait that my father had. Mm. You have a very interesting life. I mean, it's like, um, it's not the usual. <laughs> Di ba, no? Yes, yes. It's not yes. the usual. You're like a gypsy. Exactly. Huh? That's why I'm like very nomadic for some reason. Ang, ang right. outlook of very nomadic. Eh. Oh, oh, Cuz oh, we're oh. all very nomadic. I mean, we can come in and out dun sa bahay ng father ko. Come in and out, but you can just come and go. Nobody stops each other. Wala na kay alam. You just find yourself, go in the world and whatever happens to you, we're here. You must right. enjoy and learn your lessons. Mm. Get wise. Talaga. So, uh, do you think you take after your father? How are you as a kuya? Are you as loving as a kuya, a kuya as your dad? Yes, yes, they, they, they come to me, you Talaga. know, whenever they need anything, at, at mm -hmm. some point they will all stay with me, at some point, you know, so when they were ka, younger. So, madalas ka mautangan? Madalas. Hindi <laughs> na utang yun, hingi na lang. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd say yes at all. Yes, hingi oh. na lang, kuya, I need something like this. Oh, oh. sige, oh, sige, basta. Mm -hmm. Try to pay me if you can, pero hindi naman nangyayari yun. So, Totoo. Yeah, yeah, so, paano ka magalit? Parang ang bait mo sa kanila. Paano ka magalit? Well, I don't know. Just like any other, pag nabibigla ka, I guess, tampo. Pero hindi naman tatagal yun. In our family, ganun din yun. Hindi nagtatagal. Nagkakaroon kami, syempre, like any other family. Nagkakaroon ng mga hindi pagkakaintindihan minsan. Pero after a while, wala na yun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. We just love each other. We understand each other. We just take some time off. As a child or as a teenager, when did you decide that you wanted to be an actor? Was that your first job? My first job actually was uh, in a factory in Australia, summer job, like when I was 13, 14, you know, like inventory. Yung mga summer jobs. Okay. And then I would sell mga toys, uh, mga public markets on Sundays, mga ganun. That's my first job. Okay. Real job. Okay. And then mga masa inventory. But then, uh, nung nag-stay ako dito na mga 16 years old, tinry ko lang from Australia sa Melbourne, nag-aaral ako, nag-stop muna ako kasi I miss my family. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa Melbourne, Australia, kami lang ng mother ko. Mm -hmm. So I missed all of them, my siblings and everything. So I stayed here for a year. And my father is a businessman, pero meron siyang hobby. Ang hobby niya is marami siyang kaibigan, mga actors, sila FPJ, sila Dolphy, mga ninong ng mga kapatid ko and producers. And mga, may mga naging lead roles na rin siya ng mga action film. Kasama sila Dante, Barona, ganyan-ganyan. Oh. So when I was here, gumawa siya ng... Your dad was an actor also? As a hobby, yes. As a si, hobby? His screen name was Ramon Boy Bagatsing. Oh, wow. Action. Action. Uh, oh. Yung mga ganun. Mga... Oh, oh. And then oh, tapos ay, after that, na naging, naging character actor siya. And then I would see him as a screen, syempre. So, ah, oh, I want to be that. I was a little boy. I want to be that. So, oh. Isn't it true that like whatever your dad or your mom was, yun yung influence sa yon. Somehow, that's what you're going to be later on, right? Yes, that's, it, it seems the programming. It's, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. Yung, 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 Unless yes. it forces you into something else. Like my mom was a performer also. Yes. She was a singer, so I sing a little, but I, I'm still in front oh, of TV. Right, right, right. right so I mean, right. parang ganon yun. Eh, Epekto to talaga sa yon. She was yes. an interior designer, that's why now I design. Oh, I see. Oh, talaga, no? Yes, yes, yes. Influence. Oh. The influence are very strong. But you come from a family. Wait a minute. So that's when you wanted to be an actor. I wanted, okay. I, 
when I was a child, sabi ko lang, ah, gusto ko rin maging artista. And then may lola would say, kaya mo yun? Kaya, ayaw ko yan, kaya ko yan. Action. And I was into martial arts. And then naging idol ko si um, Bruce Lee and um, Jackie Chan. I really just wanted to be a martial arts action hero. Okay. I didn't know, hindi ko alam magiging dramatic actor ako. Correct. So hanggang Correct. sa may ginawang action yung father ko. Ano yung, teka muna, ano yung pelikula na yon na action hero Bruce Lee type? Ako or oh, sila? Oh, ikaw. That's what I wanted to do. But you never did one. Actually, my, uh, when I guested, I guested ako, tapos nakita nila ako ng potential, sabi ng mga director, oh, magaling yung anak mo ha? kasi may mga fight scene ako doon. But mga first day, last day, I'll die, I'll die agad. But I, it revved up my, ano, my, it inspired me to become an actor. And after a while, my dad produced a film. Mm. Yung Heron Rapido, The Warrior of the Rising Sun. It was a karate kid film. Okay. So I was 17 and I... So... May video ka pa nun? I don't know if, where we can find that. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Yes. Ang yes. payat mo siguro nun. I think Tony Ferrer was there. Yes! O, oh, eto, inabutan na tayo ng ulan. At least, walang hangin, hindi tayo binabagyo. Yeah. So, is this like your favorite muni 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 moment spot? Yes, yes. Talaga. Yes, it's beautiful here at night. You know, in morning, beautiful. Uh, I work out here. I, I really like this place. I, oh, I love oh. the trees around me. Oo, oh, oh, kasi kahit may ulan-ulan, ano, ano, parang... It's very, uh, it's conducive to internalizing. <laughs> it is. Right. What is your acting process, by the way? They say uh, there's methodical, meron ding parang, just being. You just be. So that's, that's what you do. It, it's a mix. It's a mixture. At, at early stages of my career, I really got into, you know, the passion of getting into a character. Very eccentric talaga. And luckily, I'm, I'm, I'm with myself most of the time. No, that's why it's conducive not to have a family because it's very eccentric yung process eh, ng malalim mm -hmm. na bagigin actor. Okay. So I really get into a character maybe one month before daladala ko na yon every day. You know, uh, wow. iniintindi ko na siya like pagising ko, I really get into a certain state of mind. Oh, sige, ganito yung character. Kinakapa ko yon hanggang mawala na yung intellectualization hanggang maging ikaw na yung character. Pag pasok mo ng set, ikaw na yung character. Talaga? Naiilang sa akin yung mga, siyempre, hindi pa sanay yung mga Filipino uh, staff and crew natin. Kala nila suplado ko. They didn't realize na yun yung process ng deep, uh, an actor at a process. Very quiet and very internal. And hindi masyadong chumichika para hindi lumabas yung personality ko as kayo ng bagat scene. Correct. So usually, tumatabi lang ako sa malayo. Mm -mm. or tahimik lang ako. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Pero mm -mm. after a while, they understood. Ah, yan, ganyan si Raymond. Tsaka pinapaliwanag. Oo, oh, later on. So you're not the only actor in your brood, right? Yes, from Arky, father to me and then my brother. father to you and then your brother. Pero yung brother mo, idol ka niya. Pero pareho kayo, pareho kayo ng style. Not they really. say yes, it's also very intense, very, very ah. similar. So you're not the only actor in your brood, right? Yes, from Arke, my father to me and then my brother. From father to you and then your brother. Pero yung brother mo, parang sidekick, sidekick mo lang siya dati. Yes, uh -oh. yes. Yeah, his first workshop with me was about when he was about 12 years old. I did a one-on-one -on -one workshop with him. Idol ka niya. Pero pareho kayo, pareho kayo ng style. Not As they really. say yes, it's also very intense, very, ah? very similar. And all the time, lumalaki yun. Every time that we see each other, let's say I visit my father's house, lagin kukuwento sa akin about acting. We're talking about the intricacies of the psychology of being an actor. Ah, wow. Yes, very deep. Talaga? Yes. Hanggang ngayon, ganyan pa rin kayo? Yes. Of all time, hindi na masyado kasi he has his own ano na eh. Oo. Oh, oh, Alam oh. niya na eh. Alam I mean, na niya. Oo, oh, oh, he's already a, a man of him, himself. He's right. his own man. Is there competition? Uh, I, I don't think there's competition, but... Um, you're proud of him. I'm very proud of him. Alam mo, ano bang pangalan nitong agaw eksena ng pusa? Monkey? You know why? Kasi yung tray niya kulang ng food. Ayaw niyo nakikitang may bawas yung 
Ayaw niyo nakikitang may bawas ang cat food. Ang taba-taba mo na. Taba-taba mo na. Yeah, he's the tray keeper. Food tray keeper. The cleaner. The cleaner, oh, monkey. He cleans out everything. How Just, old is he? I probably about uh, maybe six years old. Five, ah, six. Five years old. Oh, wow. Okay. You know? Oh, ayan. Nandiyan ka na sa harap. Huwag ka nang umagaw. Yeah, itong bunso namin. Nandiyan na sa'yo ang camera. Nandiyan ka na. Gusto mo na siya? May nangyari na ba sa inyo? How many films have you done? Ah, kaya, Dami. I don't know, more than 100 na siguro. Totoo ba? Probably, yes. More than 100? Iba pa yun. I mean, kasama na yung mga TV series. Ah, kasama yung mga TV series. Pati mga, you know, mga theater. Oh, oh. So what would, you, what would you consider yourself? A leading man, an action star, a character actor? I guess character, right? All of the above, uh -huh. I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I first and foremost just see myself as an actor. An actor can be given a uh, given a little man, leading man role, can be given a villain role, can be given any any. How do you choose your roles? It has to touch me. Well, first read, kailangan madala agad ako ng mm. character. Um, I don't intellectualize too much, but sa pag nadala ako nun, hanggang first read ang nung dulo, I relate with the character. Ayun lang ay. Pero may tinatanggihan ka din? Yes, uh, yung mga hindi ko na hindi ko hindi ko na feel na ako yun or baka baka hindi siyempre uh, may mga feeling ko lang na hindi yata ako to eh mahirap artin pag uh -oh. hindi mo range eh. you're much celebrated I'm a fan oh thank you so uh, much I watched uh, Quezon there you go uh, thank you I watched Quezon you really nailed that one ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for the president of the Philippines Manuel Quezon I am humbled that you can join me in unveiling to you a project that is dear to my heart. What's your favorite scene in Quezon? Oh, when I was speaking to my wife, Aurora. It was in the in my study, actually. I will die of boredom. I need to work or I will lose my mind. Itigil mo ang pagtatrabaho ngayon din. Lives are at stake here, Aurora. I need to save these people. Parang na ano siya, na overwhelmed siya sa mga pangyayari that he cannot help the, the Jews to come into the Philippines and uh, his wife uh, inspired him saying I love that scene that's love of country and he realized na he, him being a great president doesn't mean anything if he cannot allow yung mga Jews to come in at masave niya yung mga buhay Quezon is my um, favorite what's yours? Among your movies, among your many, 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 many movies, which okay. one is yours? Quezon's Game is one of my favorite. Mm. Um, the movies that I did with um, with Lab Diaz, Criminal ng Barrio Concepcion, Serafin Jeronimo. And, but I, I, I am appreciative of each and every one of them. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry if I, if, if I have a favorite, but um, I enjoy doing all the films that I did, mm. all the projects. Safe naman ang answer mo. <laughs> Gusto niyang pigilang lumabas ang kung anumang sinusulat ng professor. Ang tanong, bakit? Pag nasagot niyo yun, kilala niyo na ang killer. At isa pa pala, maligit siya, mga 5-4. Angle of trajectory. Pero hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas appreciated yung Raymond Bagatsing. Munti ka nang maging Hollywood actor, yeah. right? What was that Hollywood dream about? One of the things that inspired me to go to Hollywood because I had really good feedback from those Hollywood people that I uh, auditioned for. Isa doon yung um, nakadiscover kay Robert Downey. You know? He's older then, but may edad na siya kasi, you know. And he's a, one of the best casting, direct, uh, oh, casting, wow. casting directors sa US and like a manager. And um, ang comment niya, you know, not to lift my own seat, but sabi niya, Raymond's intensity and his intelligence is going to make him is going to give him a place here in Hollywood. I auditioned for How I Met Your Mother. How I Met How Your I Mother met your was mother. a long running series. Long running series, yes. With Doogie Howser. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, and so And my role was um, a Pakistani neurosurgeon. So I had an accent. A thousand apologies. Would you like me to carry you? And I'm so the, I was actually uh, dalawa kaming final call, uh -oh. final casting. So uh -oh. yung isa kasi really looks like he's really a Pakistani. So ako inarte ko lang yun. Uh -oh. But they're very touched kasi yung um, the casting directress, the girl, umiyak siya while I was doing the audition. Eh. Why did she cry? Because she was touched? Kasi I was, she was very touched with the, how I delivered the, 
the dialogue. Anong advice mo sa mga batang actors ngayon? How do they become a good actor? By your standards. Madali pong mag-artista, madali mag-artista, but being an actor, if, if kung talaga ang peg natin ay Hollywood or international quality, so ang proseso nun is a lot of, a lot of research, lots of psychological understanding of yourself and others, a lot of reading books, a lot of watching movies, a lot of observations. Malalim na proseso eh. They have to take it seriously. They take it seriously. And you really have to study. Ano, right. ano ang mga methods? Ano, ano ang mga nagagamit mong technique para mailabas yung totoo? Dahil, kasi ang totoong aktor hindi umaarte. Yung sinasabi is, acting is no acting. So that's the mm. hardest thing. I'd like to receive a telegram from Germany. It seems Hitler wants to move the Jews into these new camps. So you have to get to know yourself really well para maalam mo umaarte ba ako? Totoo ba tong sinabi ko? And throughout the film, dapat consistent ka. Kasi in one sentence mo, one sentence can be okay, mamaya biglang may lobas na insecurity mo, iba yung sinabi mo, hindi pala totoo. Kasi marami tayong ganyan eh, psychology. You have to find your own truth. So it's a very spiritual process in a way, and very psychological. Mm. I don't know how Meryl Streep does it. I mean, she can transform. She's a method actress. Ah, it's a method. She doesn't talk also on the set. Um, only because sa isang interview, they asked her how, if she enjoyed working on the film that she was amazing in, and she says, I don't enjoy when I'm at work because I'm so into the character. So you're so focused. It's not even enjoying or not enjoying. You are just so focused. So, so it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Kasi madaling mag ganyan ganyan. I, I tried it before when I was younger. Pag nagagagana niya ako sa set, chika with everyone. Pag umarte ako, ang babaw. Dala ko yung chika chika. So I've learned the my real my real technique. I think the most powerful technique as an actor is quiet. It's just being quiet. And being nothing outside of the camera. When you go on the camera, that's when you turn on. That energy mo dumulang ibibigay sa character. Mo. And then you become nobody again, mm. not even yourself. Wow. But now mixture na mix mix okay. na ako ng being, kaya ko ng mag ano. Mm. But if it's a really serious film like Kesson's Game, hindi ako pwedeng bumitaw eh, kasi oh. ma magpahiya ako eh. You oh. know, I mean portraying a really. Ka doon. Yes. Dami mo na naging role. Anong pang hindi mo nagagawa? Um, as an actor, parang hindi na ako naghahangad ng kung anong role ko ano lang dumating sa akin. If I'm interested, I'll do it. Kasi nga, marami ka ng pinagdaanan eh. Parang... But so I just take it whatever comes. But um, I really want to be a superhero. <laughs> that's, Me that's, too! If there's a dream... <laughs> You can I mean, be Wonder Woman. No, it's too late for me for that. Oh, but for you, you can oh. be Wolverine. Wolverine, Bagay yes. Sayo yun. Yes, especially when I have beard. But I'm in sabi niyang before, eh. Oh, oh, beard ako. Oh. Tas magulo yung hair ko. Correct, 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 correct. Intensity when I had oh, a beard. I mean, if you were to choose, which superpower would you want to have? Which superpower? Yeah, ikaw. Pag tinanong ka, kung may bumagsak dito, bibigyan kita na superpower. Anong superpower ang gusto mo? Oh, that I have telekinesis. Telekinesis? Moving things around? Yes, so that if may mabagsa ka ng something, you know, earthquake, tatasking. Ay, kasi, ang corny diba? naman ng power mo. Para madala mo yung girlfriend mo rito, no? O, pwede rin yun. Kung dumagete. Pwede rin yun lumipad. <laughs> Ay, ano ba yan? Ako, may sagot ako dyan. Mind control. Ayun yun. I'm Mind like control. That, I suppose. No meaning, changing your mind. So you give me all your money. Oh. Or you Tanda. vote for me. Oh, oh wow. Pwede yun. Wow. I, 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 now, gusto ko ng, ng superhero power yung kaya kong i-block yun. Oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pang-untra. Pwede yung makuha yung pera. <laughs> Let's talk about love. When do you decide to stay in Makati? When do you decide to stay in Manila? You're always in Dumaguete. Yes, Hello. Yes, Anong yes. meron sa Dumaguete? Um, my heart is in Dumaguete. Nak <laughs>
You're always in Dumaguete. Yes, Hello. Yes, Anong yes. meron sa Dumaguete? Um, my heart is in Dumaguete. Nox naman! <laughs> okay. You'll be happy to hear that. Wow. So, yes. so you're in So love. I'm mostly in... Yes, I, I can say. Uh, How long? How long have you been with a girl? Uh, two years now. Talaga? Two years now. Oh. I know it's still medyo maiksipa and I call it intro, intro voice and I hope I, we get past the intro voice stage. Okay, what's an intro, intro voice? You know intro in one of the song. <laughs> intro lang. Tapat yun, pumasok yun ng yun mga ang, verses eh, tsaka ano ba, chorus. Ano ka ba? Yung pinaka na part. Oo oh, nga eh. Hindi <laughs> pa kayo tapos doon? Um, I think tum tumatapos na, nagiging serious na ngayon eh. Ah, totoo. Oh, she's questioning my ano, whereabouts na. Tsaka ano ba, you have to tell people, you cannot just let people know na bachelor's na name yung bagatsing ha. Really? <laughs> so now you have to declare that you're hitched. Yes, that's why I'm, she's gonna be happy to see this. Oh yes. wow, yes. good yes. for you. So, nandun na kayo sa reality stage. Yes, yes. Right, so they, right, I'm right. more of uh, getting into depth with each other yeah. right yes, are you evolving as a as a partner like as a boyfriend it's very candid but we're going through something right now now I think it get you know the past na yung mga attraction days so it's nice but now it's getting to the real deal na how does <laughs> your personality intertwine with mine oh. the compatibility thing oh. so I think that's what we're working on and that's why she wants me to go back to Maguete na agad. I guess uh, at this time, a point of maturity, I, I, I want to get past the mga introduction stage. Lang. Correct. I Do you think, think arguments like fights are no, necessary I, I, in a relationship? I don't like, but communication, I think open communication without, if you can try not to judge, I think I'm at that point. But I'm already, parang, I'm reining myself in trying to change anybody or anything outside of myself na hindi ko mga control. So, I'm at the point na ako yung I feel na I have to adjust. Ako na yung I think that's a point of maturity. Mm. You know, I'm not saying I'm totally mature, but I think I'm growing. Okay. Know. Wow. So. Does she agree? Or he said she said dito. Kailangan niya tama interview ko yung girlfriend mo. <laughs> <laughs> she will have something else to say. Oh nga. Muna, I, I will rin. appease her first. I will appease her first. <laughs> Bago ko siya kausapin. Oh, kasi I haven't been with her now for about a month and a half because of the project. So, Correct. Medyo, it's long distance relationship. So, it's, it gets a little uh, filled with tension because you're so far. Apart. But you love Dumaguete. I love Dumaguete. I love Dumaguete. Yeah, oh, really? I, I'm a deep sea diver oh. and the diving in Dumaguete is fantastic. I'm about to try the diving there. You actually. have to. You, oh. you're, you don't dive yet? You have to. I'm a diver. I'm a oh, diver, but I yeah. haven't tried Dumaguete yet. So you have to take up diving because you ride a boat and there's like a community of um, uh, sea tortoises, giant. They're all over and they're used yes. to people. It's amazing. This is around Dumaguete waters, yes, right? Yes, yes. And now I'm excited. Yes. So I'm a diver, by the way, but I haven't dove. Yes. I haven't dived. Yes. In the Maguete area. Ay, nako. Tsaka ang gaganda ng resort dyan. Yes, we're always The food is great. Yes. Anyway, when I went there. So what do you like about Dumaguete? Aside from night, your girlfriend. Night, yes. Um, it's quiet. It keeps me balanced. Tahimik lang. Um, I do simple things. Um, it, hindi, hindi masyado ako na... na hindi, I'm not reminded masyado na I'm, a, I'm an artista. Parang, I like it kasi nagkakaroon ng, ng normal scene yung pagiging arti, artist mo. Mm. Yeah, and it's just quiet. The, the sea is there. I'm always riding my bike by the sea in the morning. You know, I wow. like riding motorcycles. Mm. It's very simple. Then uh -oh. I go wherever she goes. In errands niya and uh -oh. everything, you know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And then you mga resorts, resorts. Got it. Yeah. So how many relationships have you had? Just a few. <laughs> just a few. A lot of them are chismis. Huh? A lot of them are chismis. Ah, you know. You, Gawa ka ng pelikula, and then uh -huh. sabihin nila, you went out just because you're friends. Pero, uh -huh. few lang naman. Lalo ko love team. Know. Love team, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Matagal uh -huh. naman when I, when I get into relationship. I don't know why, meron akong ganung reputation. Uh Oo. -huh. <laughs> ah, may reputation ka bang ganun? Hindi, ko pa, hindi ko pa alam. That's alam ko lang magaling kang actor. Oh, thank you. Are you a control freak? Baka that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not so. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. I, 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 when it comes to work, for me, mm. I ask so much of myself. 
Okay. So, but before, syempre matagal na yun. I, I suppose I wasn't mature yet. Mm-mm. You know, Mm-mm. I mean, I admit that. So, because if we were more mature, I'm sure I could right. have, you know. You're not mature yet? No, Kailan now ka- I am. Ah, uh, now you <laughs> are. Oh, you mean Hopefully that time? You mean that, that time? That time. Yeah. Okay, okay, Hopefully okay. Hopefully now okay. I'm maturing now. Okay, <laughs> okay. Naman, yeah. So, maturity to you is what? Parang less fear, more, more, what? More courageous, more... Maturity to me is being more understanding of everything that goes around. Everyone, everything. Uh, yung mga bagay na hindi mo kayang baguhin. Yung mga bagay na kailangan mong intindihin. Hindi na lang lagi yung bang... Ikaw ang... Hindi na lang yung mga gusto mong mangyari. Mm-hmm. At go with the flow. Kung baga, go with the flow. Right. Trust everything and surrender everything. Correct. You know, Meaning, uh, yung, you can't control everything. Can't control everything. Ayun. So Let you have to check go. your ego. Yung ego mo oh, has wow. to be in, in check. Mm. Mahirap yun ha, artista, tapos walang ego. Mahirap talaga. Ha? Kaya nga marami akong practices eh, mga ganyan. Ah, you know, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm an avid meditator if, if I can, you know. Right, right. Yeah, I see all the equipment. Talagang ano, talagang workout, workout, workout. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yan. Mag-aasawa ka pa ba? Ah, uh, uh, ang tagal lang. Sumugot. I, it depends eh. I have a fear of... Uh, Nagka-trauma na kasi ako eh. Ang trauma yun for me eh. Na, um, coming from... Coming from a broken family. Though hindi kami broken. But it's just a term. Mm-hmm. Na hindi nagkatuluyan yung mother-father ko. After five years, they're separated. And I think that really affects a child growing up. And anyway, as, as a child, I was able to bring all those angst and all those trauma into my work. But I feel na kaya ko ba? Kaya ko ba? You know, I've, I've lived like a nomad for so long. I was with, in Australia. In Australia, ako lumaki sa Melbourne, Australia. It was only me and my mother. So, tapos I also lived in the U.S. when I was about early 10 years old. Uh, uh, I was supposed to migrate there first before I went to Australia, so medyo magulo. But marriage, I, I like to surrender what I want, all my desires, all whatever ambitions. I think I've, I've, I'm in the process of surrendering that to God's will. And for some reason, when, it, when I do that, it may come, even if you don't seek it. So, your marriage, I think if it's meant, it will happen. Hindi ka pa ni Ayaya, ni girl. Bakit? Pressure! No, but but I, I do I do get the oh. I, I feeling. Nakakaramdam ka na, no? But you know, I'm... I'm <laughs> oh nga daw! I'm on a process. Magagalit sa'yo yun! I'm on a process, grabe. Oh. Kaya nga, I have to make this work kasi mamaya. Oh. I have to make this work para naman masayang interview na to. <laughs> 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 Kailangan meron sorry, tayong that's, soundbite uh, that's ni girl. Sorry, that's a joke. Pag nakita nyo, baka away. No, no, sorry, I love you. Sorry. That's a joke. <laughs> wow, one of the many talents and passions, the life and loves of D. Raymond Bagat Singh. Next on Karina Interviews, you have to watch. Family wanted me to run for councillor with uh, General Lim, nung mayor siya sa Manila. Pero parang nag-aalangan ako kasi I thought medyo magulo yung mundo na yan. Though, naturally para sa akin, I mean, we were, we were brought up na laging intindihin ang mga uh, buhay ng ating mga kababayan. So, lagi ka magpasalamat uh, with what you have. Uh, wag masyadong mataas ang tingin sa sarili. Yung mga, and help when you can. Ang reason talaga, I'm with a, um, an advocacy group called Ang Kasama. 
Now, ang kasama stands for ang katipunan ng Samahang Maharlika at uh, mga missionary uh, charitable group yan na uh, nag-raise kami ng mga funds para tumulong kung sino man ang pwedeng tulungan sa buong Pilipinas. And matagal na nila akong hinihikayat. Sabi nila, since um, kilala ka, why don't you further our cause by getting a position in government. Mas magkakaroon tayo ng funds, magkakaroon tayo ng kakayahang tumulong. Kasi marami kami talagang programa actually. Yung samahan namin is hindi lang relief, pero marami kami talagang programa. Another thing I noticed are the animals. Because I'm also a lover of animals. I love this cat who's so fat. This monkey. Monkey and so sleepy. Yes. And, and so jealous also. And so Sorry. jealous. Yeah, they had a they had a something a while ago. <laughs> and this one is Zelda. Zelda, the mountain dog. Okay, yes. let's talk a little about Zelda. Nakuha mo siya sa bundok. Sabi yes. mo. Yes. Uh -oh. So ano bang breed siya? Aspin bang matatawag yan? Um, they call their kind Aspin, pero she is actually yung species niya, the oldest, the oldest dog species here in the Philippines, na 3,600 years old. Kasi may kilala kong professor, ni-research niya yan, tapos i-pinost niya sa Facebook. Mm -hmm. Historian siya, so nalaman niya na 3,600 years old na yung ano nila. Yung species na yung ito? Yung species niya. He's very intelligent, he loves to climb trees, kaya mahaba yung mga kanya mga kuko. Oh. Gusto niya mag-swimming sa sapa, sa ilog. At siya kumakit ng mga mga ng bato, bato, bundo, bato? mga bato-bato, ah. puno. Ganyan. Okay, o paano ngayon ito lang dito ngayon sa pad mo? Um, you know, nakuha ko siya, baby siya, and timely kasi ah. you know, um, medyo I needed company. Right. So, right. Oh. usually pag nasa labas siya, medyo natatakot yung mga tao sa kanya. Not knowing na she's the sweetest dog. Ay, nako, I'm not scared of her. She's yes. really so sweet. Yes. Nabigla lang siya dogs. kanina kay Monke kasi nagselos siya. Oo, nagselos yeah. eh, no? Right, right, right. So, let me take the opportunity to say that I'm going to be recruiting Raymond to help me out. Um, with this bill in Congress to finally end dog slaughter. Because in this country, marami pa rin kumakain ng aso. Bawal na po yan. It's a criminal act. Okay, so, uh, so dog slaughter, meat trade, dog meat trade, so inhuman. So, I'm going to be recruiting you and we're going to make an appearance in Congress. Sabi ko na nga ba, hindi talaga siya magugutom. Kasi marami siyang talent. O oh, ayan, nagluluto pa. Pwede siya sa kusina. Okay. What do you call this dish? This is just a simple uh, string beans with um, Indian curry vegetable. Mm -hmm. It's an Indian, Indian dish. Right. Okay, so we start. Siyempre, gisa-gisa. Yes, you know. Gisa-gisa pag may time. Lunch is served. Okay, here we go. Yum, yum, yum. One for you. There you go. And, and that is. one for that one. Wow. There you go. Wow, wow, we. Wow, wow, we. Okay. Now. Mmm. <laughs> oh, oh, nga. At kung mahilig ka sa maanghang, ha? Yes. Ito na yon. Yes. But healthy. Healthy. I'm sorry. Mm. Maanghang ba masyado? Hindi. Tama okay. lang. Mmm. 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 Super healthy. You can put you. other things here, like cauliflower. You can put carrots and yes, stuff, you no? You can be creative. Mm -hmm. You know, basta those spices kasama. Yan yan. Okay. Ayun. Vegetarian genius. <laughs> Chef. Raymond Bagatsin. Pero si Raymond, um, hindi lang yan a man of passions. Well, one of your passions is fitness. I 
have uh, five poses na ginagawa just to maintain my uh, equilibrium. Really? Para, para yung kalma. Talaga? Ano, so umaga yan? Umaga and then pag sobrang stress ako sa shoot kahit sa gabi para before I sleep, mahugasan lahat ng stress ang dadala ng body ko. It balances your hormones. Ah. So kahit anong inis mo, overwhelm, tension, stress, pag after mo ng five poses lang ngayon, wala na. You're just so balanced. Talaga ba? It's magical. Okay. Oh, yeah. You don't need anything to, you know, pills or anything to relax you, volume or whatever. Aside from that, he's also a vegetarian. Gano katagal na? Hindi ka talaga kumakain kahit na isda? Sometimes. Uh, only lately because I work out a lot. But mostly, I was vegetarian for 18 years. And just because I work out a lot, I need a little bit more protein. What a real treat. Not everybody gets to go to the pads of Raymond Bagat Singh. And by the way, bibisitahin pa namin ang bahay niya doon sa kabila, at saka sa Dumaguete, at saka we're going to be stalking him, Max. Anytime, Karina, anytime. And looking forward to your recording finally. Wow. Right. Mm. Why not? So thanks, Raymond. You're very welcome. Anytime. We wake up like this. <laughs> Lauren, aminin mo, mas maganda kapag wala ka pang makeup. Oh. Alam mo talaga, alam mo kasi ang makeup, mm. tumatanda tayo. Eh, siyempre, <laughs> ayaw natin magbukang matanda. Oh. Ganyan ang isang senadora pagka behind the scenes. But actually, Lauren, this was usual in the news department. Uh, Maaga ko kayo iniwanan eh, 98. Yeah, that's why some people, yung mga bata, hindi ka na matandaan as a newscaster. Yeah. Teka muna, uh -oh. hindi pa interview, mamaya na yung kwentuhan. Hi, Corina. Hi, welcome. Ang ganda ng garden mo. Nakakaingin. Yung aking bunting gubat, no? Sana all. Alam mo, sulit yung pagtatanim ng mga punong ito at itong mga halaman. At pagtag-ulan, gaya ngayon, ay libre ang patubig, di ba? Oo. Alam mo, ibig sabihin ito, may tubig dito. Kasi puno ng tibig. Ano? Tibig. Tibig? T-I-B-I-G. Okay. At pag meron daw... Ako, baka yung mga eksperto dyan, sabihin mali ako. Oh, ano? Pag meron daw tibig, ay may tubig somewhere. Ah. Kaya siguro, lush dito, may oh, tubig dito. Maganda talaga naman ang lupa sa oh, oh, dito. bahaging ito ng Pilipinas. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ang sarap ng presko, no? Presko, oh, oh. lalo na paghapon, oh, pababa ang araw. Perfect! And, so, and thank you for visiting me again. Oh, this oh. is my second time here, but then, of course, uh, madalian tayo noon. Sabi ko, kung i-interviewin natin si Senadora Loren, kailangan talaga medyo mas malaman natin yung ano bang pinanggalingan itong kanyang pagaplantita na wala masyadong may alam. Alam nila, Miss Environment ka. Pero kailan ba nagsimula yung talagang hilig mo sa halaman? Siguro mula nung napanak ako, Corina, dahil sa Malabon kami. Ang Malabon nun ay parte pa ng Rizal, hindi pa yan Metro Manila. So parang probinsya na talaga. At sa isang compound na limang bahay ng aking uh, mother side na lolo at lola, na dati raw yung aming compound sa Malabon ay golf course. So ibig sabihin, greens lahat. Tapos ang liliit lang ng bahay na bungalow, 
Tapos puro talahib mm-hmm. at ang mga puno ng mangga ng kaimito ng sampalok hanggang yung mga almi aratilis, mga sinaunang mga... Laman ako ng aratilis. Ayun, okay. ayun. Di ba, inaakit yung... ko yan, inaakit. Ayun, yun, yun, inaakit yan. Oh, oh. Hanggang mga coconut. Tapos may, may tree house ako noon. Meron kaming uh, maliit na bahay kubo. Yan tunog ng hangin. Ito yung hapon, yan ang gusto kong naririnig sa Malabon. Yun oh, ang kinalakihan ko. Problema ng mama mo na sobra kang pala-aral. Pero sa dad mo naman, ano ang tingin niya sa'yo? Ang papa kasi, tahimik lang. It was matriarchal yung aming pamilya. Ang mama ang mandando. Mm-hmm. And uh, even, I was living with my grandparents, pati ang lola maming, uh, siyang mandando. My grandfather was a journalist, editor-in-chief ng pre-martial law Manila Times. Mm-hmm. Tahimik lang. Yung mga lalaki ng pamilya, tahimik. Oh. Yung mga nanay ang hmm, disiplinarian. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So ang mama, very, very close kami ng mama. Pero sobrang stricto rin ang mama. Siyempre protective, di ba? Only girl. Only girl ka rin. Right. Eldest and only girl. So worried siya na masyado kong dinidibdib ang aking pag-aaral. At pag hindi ako, hindi kasing taas ng grade na gusto ko, although mataas na rin, Uh, masyado kong dinidibdib. So, worried siya sa ganun. Then, si nanay ko is like my second mother and nung nawala ang mama, nanay na talaga ang mama ko. She's still with me here. She's 88. Wow! Yeah. Ang, wow! She never married. Um, siya ang nag-alaga sa akin mula nung ako'y napanganak. Wow! At inalagaan mo na rin siya? Inaalagaan ko siya. I love her like my own. Mm-mm. Never siya nagkaroon ng sariling pamilya niya. Umalis siya sa Ilocos, taga-Pawai, Ilocos Norte, dahil hindi siya pinag-aral ang kanyang magulang. Si nanay ang naging ehemplo ko na walang hindi kaya. Alam mo, wala siyang tinapos ng grade school. Maroon siya mag-dressmaking, mag-tailoring, parang electrician pa siya. Siyang gumagawa ng sewing ko. Marunong mag ng bahay, sarap magluto, inaalagaan ako. My mom was always there, pero ang image ko sa mama ko, working palagi. Nag-utos na yun, pero organisado lahat. I mean, who knew na ang isa sa mga real-life heroes mo at idol ay ang yaya mo? Si nanay, si Ilocanang nanay. O, oh, Ilocanang nanay. Yung ugali ni nanay, mas kaugali ko yata, si nanay. Di ba, kung sinong nagpalaki sa'yo, ay yun ang kaugali mo. Si nanay, sobrang stricto. Pero paano nangyari, uh, Lauren? Well, you know, I knew Lauren since she was Lauren, right? Kaya hindi senadora ang tawag ko sa yeah, kanya. Of course, Pero Lauren, senadora no, po itong no, no, Lauren, ko. Lauren. So, um, paano nangyari, Lauren, na napaka mapag-isa mo, tahimik ka, gusto mo ng katahimikan, parati kang silent, napunta ka sa <laughs> TV, commercials, oh. uh, excuse me, ah, oh. Siya po ay na-discover para sa isang commercial habang nagja jackstone Paano nangyari yun ikwento mo? Eh, nako, yun? Corina, kasi compound. Oh. So, naka-shorts, pantarorong matawag doon, maluluwag. Mm-hmm. Tapos naka-sando, naka-dragon, alam yung dragon slippers? Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, yun, chinelas. Oh, oh. Nag-jackstone. Smuggle, oo. Oh, oh. Smuggle ba ito? I was like 15 years old. Doon sa bahay ng pinsan ko, Bautista, first cousin. Siya, maganda, ang talent ng close-up commercial. Mm-hmm. Kasama yung boyfriend niyang guwapo. Oh. Tapos, pirmahan ng contract. Nakita ko nung talent caster. Tapos, sabi yung gumiti, eh, ayan, sungki. Oh. Tapos, nagbigay ng card kung gusto ko raw mag-commercial. The next day, nagpunta ako sa J. Walter Thompson. Oh. Nag-apply ako for the crowd. Okay. Tapos, sabi nila, gusto mo ba maging main? Eh, may main na sila. So, they had to recast. At ginawa kong main tapos pina-memorize ako ng isang script. Mm. Pinabasa minsan. Eh, wala pang teleprompter noon. Binigay sa akin. Tinig na, pwede yabang to ko rin ah. <laughs> Binasa ko, tinabi ko, sinabi ko sa VTR. Nagulat sila tong 15 years old, memoryado ka agad. Oh. Tapos, I don't know kung yung araw na yon or sabi, we'll come back. We signed the contract. In this close-up moment, you need close-up confidence. Can you bagay sa yon leading man mo ay ang guapo mm-hmm. no no oh doctor no oh eh bata-bata ko no so i earned 900 pesos Oo. at nagsunod-sunod na ang pagiging commercial model ni Lauren nako ang pond screen Oo. solo yon 1976 <laughs> totoo tapos nag 
Sun Silk Commercial uh, sa bote. Okay. Nako, sa bawat bote nandun. Saka, nandun ka? Iba-ibang kulay ng bote. Okay. Oo, makapalpabo ko nun eh. Nawala na pala lahat eh. <laughs> And then? <laughs> Tapos, um... What did you... So, kumikita ka na? Bata ka pa lang? Yes. I was in high school and college. Kumikita na ako sa... Hindi lang TV and print commercials nag host oh, oh. ng mga events. Teka muna, sandali lang. Wala akong manager. Wala ka, so, ikaw lang kinakausap ako diretso? Ako kinakausap po. Ako nag-negotiate. Ano sabi ng mga magulang mo kung saan-saan ka lumalabas? Um, di na drive ako ng papa ko. Oh. Kung hindi naman ang driver ni Lola ko, hmm. nagpapaalam naman kay mama. Di nalaman na nila, syempre. Kasi oh, nagpaalam ako oh, sa mga oh, madre yung una kong commercial. Oh, 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 oh. Tapos, merong Blue Clinic Shampoo, may Canebo Cosmetics, mm. merong Kodak, lumabas pa sa International Reader's Digest. Wow. Tapos, meron pang Happy Toothpaste. Correct. My choice, Happy Gold. The gum formula toothpaste and laminated shoes. So, paano naman sa gitna ng lahat ng yan, nasingit yung pagiging disc jockey mo? Ay, nako, VJ. Ang tawag nun DJ noon. DJ. Ngayon, DJ, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi... Nag-apply ako, or kinuha ako, nag-apply ako sa Channel 7 sa, alam mo yon Apo Hiking Society. Oh so, meron silang, uh, hindi mainstay, extra lang doon sa gilid, oh, <laughs> taga-spill oh, oh. siya ng salita. Correct, correct. Tawag DJ. Mm-hmm. Aba, o di may sideline pa ako, may DJ pa ako dyan every week yun, once a week. I think ang sweldo ko ron, 1,000 a week. Aba, di malaki. 4,000 a month nung 1980, 81. Kaya nga, saan mo dinadala pera mo? Aba, nag invest ako noon. Una, nag-savings ako sa banko. Pangalawa, nag-down payment ako sa real estate, sa condo. Tapos, tinuruan ako ng mama ko rin mag-invest sa jewelry na tumaas na ang presyo. Wow. And then, nag-real estate pa ako. Uh, yung unang in-investan ko, buy and sell. Habang nagatrabaho. Original lagarista Lag- si Lauren Legarda. <laughs> lagarista, totoo lagarista yan. Lagarista ka, dai. Meron pa akong negosyo na rental ng mga tapes Oo. ng Betamax sa bahay. Correct. Kasi sa Malabon, yung aming subdivision, pwedeng buksan yung gate, tapos nandun meron akong maliit na tindahan linagay. O, oh, di merong Betamax rental. <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Uy, meron pa akong damit, ha? Nagbebenta ka rin ng damit? Sa Green Hills. Ibang Ayan. klase ka, para ka mauubusan ng panahon. Mahilig lang talaga kasi, ala, nakatutuwa lang ako. At saka syempre, you have to augment your allowance. Right, right, right. Nagbe-bake pa ako. Baking? Binibenta Baking. mo rin? Oo, regalo at saka benta. You oh. made me remember all of these things. I really believe in looking back. Yeah. Because it, Parang napapaalala sa iyo kung sino ka papano ka naging ganon, yes. di ba? Doon na nagsimula yung Lauren Legarda. Ah, meron pa palang na siya ming pangarap na maging astronaut, okay? Bago siya naging journalist. 1968 'yon, batang-bata. Yes. Kasi ba Neil Armstrong? Yes. Naa-amaze ka tas narinig mo lang sa matatanda, lalabas ka sa garden mo sa kadiliman. Tas isipin mo para nakarating diyan ang tao. Correct. Si Armstrong. Oo. So, yan na naman yung utak ko. Ang daming panaginip na, ano yung salita, na unsh- na unshami. Unshami. Hindi na bali, kasi kung saan ka naman dapat mapunta, doon ka napunta. <laughs> at doon na nga siya napunta sa mga sa makeup journey. room at studio ng ABS-CBN. At doon na nga siya napunta sa mga sa makeup room at studio ng ABS-CBN. At that time, magkasama kami ni Lauren. Pero bago yan, Corina, meron na on siya may napanaginip. Gustong gusto ko maging news journalist ng ABC News. Sa Amerika. Hindi ABS-CBN, <laughs> ABC at CBS or NBC. Dalhangang hanga ako kay Barbara Walters at Diane Sawyer, at crush ko si Peter Jennings, at pinapanood ko si Dan Rather. Right. At I used to watch... They were the superstars. Yes. Then. I used to watch 2020, 60 Minutes, and Ayon LA. Kaya naman pala. Yun. Eh, nag-apply ako doon. Nagkaroon ako ng TV show. What? KSCI Channel 18. In 1985. And then? The name. Ah, sino kaya may premyo? Oh. Manila Envelope. Oh, I remember. Season lang. 
as a member of the Los Angeles Press Center. Wow. That was 1984 oh, oh. or 85. Right, right. Pero hindi ako nakuha sa malalaking networks. Correct. I just, so balik Pilipinas. Oo, oh, oh. after 86, di ba nagkaroon ng EDSA Revolution, nagbukas ang ABS-CBN, and I was one of the first employees and staff on cam with Angelo and Larry Nang. Hindi pa si Angelo noon eh. Larry Nang pa ang kasama ko noon. So talagang mainly anchor, no? And yes. magazine producer. Yes. Producer ka na rin noon. Executive producer at 26 years old oh, oh, ng Pep Talk. Pep Talk, People, Events, Places. Hi, welcome to Pep Talk, a show that features people, events, and places. Who knows, you might just be one of them. I'm Laura Legarda. Ang dami mong pinuntahan. Ay, talaga, akit ng bundok. Oh, oh. Uh, tatawid ng mga kung anong... Correct. One of the first stories was yung mga negritos of Zambales. Pinuntahan hmm. ko. Ano yung pinaka-wild na ginawa mo as a show host? Ay, grabe. Okay. Ikaw, sumakay ng hang glider. Oh. Ang usapan ay sasakay lang, take off for a few feet, tapos baba na for a spill. Bigla ba naman sinakay ako, umikot kami hanggang Taal Lake. Nakaluyluy ang pa ako dyan. Mm. with a foreigner na nasa hang glider na kaganoon ako oh. i was so scared <laughs> bata ko noon i was in my 20s oh. tapos nag rock climbing din ako i think in Rizal uh, we did some rock climbing also so i was very adventurous so that's the wildest what's the most unforgettable interview dami mo na interview <laughs> ah. nelson mandela we are privileged to come face to face with a man whose courage had inspired the dawning of a new South Africa. President Nelson Mandela. Ah. Alam mo ang ginawa ko? Oo. Oh, oh. Sumulat ako sa mga heads of state or even those I want to interview. You know, I even wrote the PLO chief at the time, Yasser Arafat. Paano ka bang na-interview? Oh, oh, oh. At saka snail mail pa noon. Right. Then I wrote, Nelson Mandela, I think kaka-release lang niya sa prison and he became mm. president. Of course naman, walang sasagot. And one day, he had a state visit coming to the Philippines and they sought me out. Who was this young journalist who wrote us? So I had an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Nelson Mandela. President Mandela, you were at the forefront of a struggle against apartheid. How was it like during those many years of struggle and incarceration? A struggle is never something very easy. It has broken many otherwise very powerful and courageous people. Naaalala ko, siyempre, um, nung college ako, and people don't uh -huh. know this, so, um, hindi ko alam ko anong course ang kukunin ko, right? I just knew at that time I wanted to make money, but I also wanted to be famous. Ah. Sabi ko, okay, maging artista kaya ako. Uh -oh. Ay, naku, sabi nila, malaki daw ang kinikita ni Lauren Legarda. Ah, Bilang isang... Ah, ako pala yapi, yung nag... Yeah, you were the icon. Ah. Yapi newscaster, uh -oh. uh, Channel 9 yes. at that time. Newswatch. Oh, Newswatch. With Harry Gasser. Newswatch uh -oh. with Harry Gasser. So, I am going to be a newscaster. So, Hindi malaki kita ko. Alam magkano sweldo ko? Oh. 75 pesos a day. So, <laughs> Laki naman, malaki, sobra. Malaki na ba yun? Nung pa? Kaya oh. I had to work during the day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Kaya lagarista ka dati pa. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Kung tatanungin mo, Corina, who's uh, one person I owe so much to? Orly Mercado. Professor, ang bait-bait, tinulungan ako, binigyan ako ng break, maski na naninervis ako, mali ma rin pronunciation ko mo. Di ba? Correct, correct. Sabi ko pa naman nun, Seoul, di ba? Dapat Seoul, South Korea. Seoul, Korea. Seoul. Tapos ganun yun. Seoul. So hanggang sa, sa show, kinokorek ako na, eh, nagkakamali. Right, right, yeah, right. Hanggang ngayon matanda na tayo, nagkakamali. Ganun oh, lang naman. eh. But what do you think about, um, well, hindi kami nagkasama ni Lauren, no? Because you were world tonight. Ako, magandang, magandang umaga. umaga. And talaga, hoy gising. And hoy gising. Talaga magka, ano. Uh -huh. Pero... Uh, of course, alala kita. Hindi alam ng tao lahat ito, ha? Ang tingin talaga sa kanya, doon niya siya pagkatapos uh, areglado lahat. Hindi natin alam, lagarista pala dati. Koboy, tsaka, koboy ako, simple lang. At saka lang. DJ. At saka nag, nagbabaon, para oh, matipid. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ever since matipid Correct. kasi Ilocana, di ba? So, ibang-iba, hindi ba? Ibang. Then and now, because of, what do you think? Because of the internet, because of social media, because of the digital platform, di ba tayo noon, 
at saka walang cellphone, di ba? Landline. Verify ta ng verify dahil pag magkamali, naku. Naku, masuspindi ka. Suspindi at saka, Oo. di ba, bilang executive producer pareho tayo ng mga programa natin, mahirap ang trabaho pero enjoy tayo. Correct. So, one would think that dahil all around ka nga, uh, lahat, pinapakialaman mo at ikaw na rin yung boss na you would rise uh, corporately uh, bilang pinaka-boss ng news. Pero hindi. Uh, parang naakit ka, napunta ka. At by the way, nasa kanununuan mo ang pagiging journalist din. Dahil sa, dahil sa lolo. lolo mo. Saan ang galing yung politika? Alam Wala mo, talaga. I was thinking at that time, Lauren, oh. sabi ko, ito si Lauren. Sayang. Oh. Sayang to, pero okay na rin kasi pag umalis siya, ako naman ang kapalit niya. <laughs> <laughs> sabi mo, ganun, yay! Pangumulita ka na si Lauren. I was 37 na. years old. You were so young. 37, I gave it up. And oh, oh. I think it's uh, safe to say I was at the peak of my career. Walang balak. So ang tanong, I hated politics. Bakit mo iniwan lahat 'yon para sa politika? Ang tanong, bakit mo iniwan lahat 'yon para sa politika? Ini-interview ko si President Ramos. How will you make sure that the anointed one will continue with his programs? What kind of qualities uh, would there be in the man whom you will endorse or anoint? Man or woman? Man or woman. In 1997, okay. and he knew that I took up the National Defense College course, Masters in National Security, yun din ang kanyang alma mater. Sabi niya, ba't hindi ka magsenador? Ay, hindi po. I'm very happy with my career. Subukan mo. Test the waters. I said, no, Mr. President, I'm very happy. Test the waters. And then, former Speaker Joe De Venecia and his wife, Manay Gina, were coming up with a slate for 1998 when he was running for president. And they got me in their, they drafted me in their slate. And the rest is history. So I won number one at the time. And of course, I resigned. When I resigned from ABS Biglaan, Biglaan talaga yun. May ame, meron ka nang naririnig Loren Loren Sinta. Oo, ganun. Oo. Biglaan, it was like, it was offered. I said no. Then he said, test the waters. Nagpunta akong La Union. And I said, type ko ba yung ganitong buhay hanggang madaling araw? Manong Joe and Manay Gina were so kind to me. They said, we'll put you in the lakas slate. And many people wanted to be their cabinet members. All of it. I was all of 37 years old. And I was giving up so much. But then I realized, Corina, dahil yung mga storya na ginagawa ko noon, hindi na pep talk inside story, trafficking of women and children. Correct. Ang sakit, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kinakalakal bata babae. So much uh, problems. Even yung dumi ng Pasig River, di ba? Dumi ng uh, Payatas, Smoky Mountain. Yung mga hamon na gusto kong gawa ng solusyon. So I thought, maybe it would be good if I become a lawmaker and do the laws that could solve the problems that I documented as a journalist. So, nagawa mo naman. And true enough, yes, yung ecological solid waste management law, isa sa mga unang matas na aking nagawa nung ako ay 39 years old. At yung Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act na pinag it criminalizes yung pangangalakal ng bata at babae. So, in that way, um, I found fulfillment. Hindi na ako nagsisi na iniwanan ko ang aking karir sa television dahil nahanapan ko ng solusyon ang mga problema ng aking mga na feature At dyan nagbunga ang sampung environmental laws hanggang sa Clean Water Act dahil sa kadumihan na nakikita ko noon sa Pasig River. Hanggang ngayon ay madumi pa. Ay oh. no. At marami you know, pang I'm iba. I'm going to ask you that. Oh. Hmm. Hindi ba nakaka-frustrate yung Siyempre, inalay mo yung buong buhay mo, pamumuliti ka is na hindi madali. Ang dami mo kailangan pakisamahan, kausapin. Pero masasabatas, ang tanong nagagawa ba? na -e enforce ba yung mga batas? Maraming batas na -e enforce Meron din mga malaki ang kakulangan sa maraming dahilan. Kulang ng pondo, kulang ng political will. Iba, hindi na alam ng mga tao that it exists. Ka-importante, information dissemination at yung oversight function ng Senado, ng Kongreso. Bakit kapag batas na, bakit hindi magawa na 
pilitin ninyo ang mga local government. Mahirap yung implementation. Oo. Mahirap ang enforcement. Mahirap magbago ng pananaw at ng utak at kinagawian ng mga tao na higit sa isang daang milyon. <laughs> hindi madali yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero magtsatsaga ako at hindi ako mag-give up. Yung NSME lo, tuwang-tuwa ako. Oh. Micro, small at medium enterprises, di ba? Panahon ng pandemic. Ang daming mga nagsulputan, mga maliliit na negosyo. Oh. Tapos nakikita mo sa maliit na puhunan na may mga MSME programs ang gobyerno, kumikita sila na itawid nila yung pandemya. Ay, salamat! May MSME lo. Hindi man nila alam kung sinong sumulat ng batas. Basta alam ko na yung batas ko nakatulong sa kanila. Wow. So, ilan lang yan, nakakatuwa. Correct. So, that's the psychic reward. Um, so, malaking tulong. Mal- yung Mm-mm. tulong na nabibigay mo sa marami is what is your fuel, is what gets you going. Pero aminin mo, okay, ito. Alam kong seasoned politician ka at uh, hindi pala hanap ng gulo. Pero aminin kung minsan nakakainis ang kasama sa Senado at Kongreso o anong tingin mo doon? Kongreso, one term lang ako. At lahat ang babait sa akin at pandemya yan. Hindi kami nakikita Zoom lang. Sa Senado naman, tatlong termino pang apat na. And you know, pag nagdidiskurso kayo debate, that's par for the course. Ibig sabihin, ganun talaga yun. Pero so walang, hindi mo pinapersonal? Walang personalan. Eh, yung iba na may personal at pinapersonal nila. Oo nga. Diba? Pero pero I I hold them in high regard at saka iba-iba naman ang area of specialization kung may debate man, kung meron mang pagkakaiba, that's part of democracy, hindi ba? Pangit naman yung pare-parehong pananaw niyo at palagi kay agree ng agree, di ba? Oh, 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 <laughs> that oh. makes it more interesting. Ayun. Siguro mahaba kasi ang pasensya ko, but you know actually, I enjoy being with them. Mm-mm. I don't say this as a politician uh, being diplomatic because we're on TV. I look forward wow. to going to session. Ano pa ang gusto mong gawin dito sa susunod na tatlong taon mo? Yung higit na apat na milyon na walang trabaho ay magkaroon ng pangkabuhayan. Dahil bilang author ng MSME Law, Micro Enterprises, na sanay mabigyan sila ng kapital at tulong para magkatrabaho at makaahon mula sa pandemya. Yun ang gusto kong gawin. Ayun, naku, yes. sana all. Ay, matutuwa ka pag daling kita sa antike. Oo. All the unemployed, ay, nagkaroon sila ng may dairy farm, nagkaroon ng sewing machines, ng weaving center, nakakapanglabot. Hanggang mga katutubo, indigenous people, gumagawa ng mga banig na bag. Ang gaganda, mm. nakakatuwa. Hanggang yung mga tao sa barangay, tinuro ng embroidery, ang gaganda na parang yung mga Vietnam na mga magigandang embroidery. Beautiful. Well, I really, yeah. really hope that you know you get to legislate that. It's a good thing. It's Dapat a matter eh. of funding it lang Correct. in the Oo. national budget. Tama, tama. Yes. So, paano ka nagre-relax sa gabi? Spotify. Mm. At mahilig ako komanta. Meron akong karaoke sa isang kwarto <laughs> na matagal nang hindi nagalaw. Totoo. Bago mag-pandemic, may karaoke. Ano lang... favorite song mo? Ay, nako, Corina. <laughs> 70s and 80s. Marang oh. pag magsimula ka dyan hanggang gabi tayo dito. Oh. ba? Diba? Nako, si Lauren po ay isang plantita. Kaya alam nga yan, aratilis, yung mga kung anong kinakain. Mamaya, kakain kami ng bulaklak. Bulaklak? Na ikaw mismo nagtanim. Yes. Basta promise mo, hindi ako malalason. Blue ternate. <laughs> Blue pea flower Yo, ano na kaya? pwedeng sa salad at pwede rin siya. Ah. Oh, sige. Titingnan natin kung hindi tayo ma-ospital. Hindi, sure. Ang daming edible flowers. Okay, okay so... Ayan. This is one of... Uh... Kasi kaysa bumili pa akong bulaklak, yung mga kaya lang itanim na hindi naman mahirap itanim. Pero hindi lang bulaklak dito, Corina. Okay. So, wow! Kum- kumakain ka ba ng, uminom ka ng passion fruit? Di ba sarap? Oo naman. Ayan o. Oh. Yan yun! Passion fruit. Tapos yung kinakain natin sa salad na blue ternate. Oo. At saka tsa, ilublubo lang sa hot water. Blue ternate tea. Totoo. Yung blue pea so, flower. Ano, pwede, pwede kong huyain ngayon yan? Yeah. Oh, ang really? sarap ito. At saka, you know, just, it's edible flower. 
Ang daming edible flowers, pero ito siguro ang star okay, cluster so, nito. Okay, so ito ngayon, ha? Hmm. Ito, kakainin ko ito ngayon kung hindi may ko, ambulansya ba dyan? Teka, hindi ko pa inugasan. Okay lang isang yan, hindi ako maselan. O, isang piraso lang. Isang piraso lang. lang. O, ayan. Ayun, oh, sino? Mm. Kita mo naman talaga, mm. that's what you call integrity. Mm. Mm. Na una siyang kumain bago ako. Mm. <laughs> blue pea, blue ternate, mm. meron, mm. ano may scientific name nito? Ay, teka, mm. may catch. Mm. It's an aphrodisiac. I need it! Hala <laughs> <laughs> Bilang senadora ngayon, ito pa rin ba ang gusto mong isulong? Patuloy, kasi... Pag kinabuhayan mo ng ganun, kinalakihan mo, yun pa rin. At syempre, yung mga ibang batas pang nagawa na natin, yung oversight function to make sure na mm-hmm. ay ini-implement yun. Uh, especially during pandemic, na-realize natin, kailangan natin protektahan ang ating kapaligiran, kalikasan, mm-hmm. saan ba nanggagamit ang, nanggagaling ang mga infectious disease, ang mga sakit, pati na dengue, patasay mm-hmm. ng dengue, right. oh, dahil sa basura. Ba't kailangan may basura? Ay, may batas naman tayong ecological solid waste management law. Hindi mm. dapat maghiwalay-hiwalay ng basura sa nabubulok at hindi nabubulok kasi may pera sa basura, di ba? Zero Oo. waste. Wow. Ayan, biglang lecture na. Alam mo, bigla, alam mo yung pera sa basura, Oo. ang daming biglang nakinig sa atin Oo, kasi like, pagkakaperahan pala ang basura. Pumunta ka sa payatas. Oo. Barangay Holy Spirit. Right. Nakakatuwa. Oo. Ang ginagamit nila mga plastic, ginagamit nila yung mga lumang uh, papel at ginagawa mga produkto na kumikita. Ganito talaga ang downtime mo. Talagang dito sa mga halaman. Halaman, gulay, puno, hangin, mm-hmm. ibon, paro-paro. Yeah. What is the most important thing? So, um I wish we had two episodes with Senator Lauren Legarda, pero sa haba ng naging biyahe mo sa buhay, ito, katahimikan din ang ending mo every single day. So, what's your life learning? Live the present moment. Uh-huh. So, just enjoy the moment, relish it, be grateful. Alam mo, Corina, pag nagigising ako sa umaga, bubuksan kong bintana, umaaraw, ay, salamat. Mainit ang araw. Pag umuulan, ay, salamat. Ay, nadidiligan ng libre ang aking mga gulay at halaman at ma- maginaw ng konti ang panahon. So, I think gratitude for everything, even on down times, which can be a lot. Uh, the stress, the anxiety, the worries, the fears, that's part of life. But live the present moment. Uh, be grateful for what we have. Uh, Masalamat tayo kung anong binigay sa atin para sa atin. Yung ating gusto na hindi natin nakuha, hindi para sa atin. Actually, simple lang eh. Wala naman akong profundities sa buhay eh. Ang dami ko ng leksyon. Maraming pagkakamali. Pero it's how you get up after you stumble that matters, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And she's full circle at graduate na maraming bagay. And this is not too little. Tingnan nyo naman. Masagana ang buhay ni Senadora Lauren. We're very happy for you. Thank you so much for the tour. Not just of your small farm and garden, but also of your huge life. Maraming salamat touring us through your life. Huge Senadora. life. Checkered or plaids, let's never be embarrassed because there's always lessons learned. And the lessons we share with other people so that they can learn from your life. Ay, nako. Yes. Parang gusto ko nang maiyak. Kumain na lang muna tayo ng salad. Okay, <laughs> yeah. let's go. Okay. Thanks, guys. Organic, Thanks. ha? Organic. Organic everything, of course. Without fertilizers. And pag may fertilizers, kailangan organic pa rin. Yes. I'm here in an elevator in a residential building kung saan... Ito na ang kasunod kong i-interviewin sa Corina Interviews. And palaging ko hindi nyo mahuhulaan kung sino ang susunod kong kakausapin. Maraming nag-iisip na magkagalit kami. Hindi pa kami magkagalit. Saan kaya nang galing yun? Gusto ko rin siyang tanungin, ano bang feelings niya about me? Kasi ako, wala talaga akong pagkanega. And I'm kinda excited. Ewan ko lang kung mahuhulaan ninyo, basta nandito na kami ngayon 
sa kanyang condo unit. And this is what you're going to now find out. Sinong susunod ko i-interview him. Excited much? And here we are. Hello! Hello! Oh. I am so... Oh. I am Hello. so thrilled! I can't oh. believe this! Hindi nyo nahulaan, ano? Hindi nyo nahulaan. <laughs> Grabe, tuwan-tuwa ako. Thank you for wow. being here. Okay, it's thank like a museum. You. Thank you! Wow! Oh, well, you, you also have a lot of artwork. Oh, naman! Hindi oh. magalito ka na floor to ceiling. Okay. I can't believe it! Hindi ko ako makapaniwala na nandito si V. Corina Sanchez. Okay. O, oh, 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 kita nyo na, nag-host na siya, di ba? Sabi ko, cut mo na, wala pa kaming ilaw. At kahit ako, <laughs> hindi ko to na-imagine. <laughs> oh, di ba? I know I, I've worked with you for so long, but it's just so different that you're here interviewing me. I swear. Correct. Maybe I thought about it, but naisip ko, can that ever happen? And look, okay, eto na. na. Uh, oh, <laughs> eto na yon. Hindi nyo nahulaan, di ba? Kasi masyado kayong maraming iniisip, <laughs> pero problema nyo na yon. Okay, di ba? O. Oh. Mamaya ang mga juicy na mga tanong kay Karen. Dito muna tayo sa kanyang pinagsimulan. Live mula sa ABS-CBN News Center, Manila. Julius Babao, Ed Vailon, at Karen Davila. Ito ang TV Patrol World. Hindi unting inaanod ng karahasan at karumaldumal na pangyayaring ito ang ating pananalig sa batas. Nagpapatrol Henry Omar. Siyempre, nakilala si Karen, broadcaster na, di ba? Parang uh, interviewer, mga tao takot sa kanya. Sa'yo. <laughs> sa akin muna. Sa'yo. Tapos yung medyo tumandatanda na ako sa kanya na sila takot. Okay, so, so they know her as a journalist and... Um, Wala masyado kasing nakakaalam, siguro umiiwas ka sa mga interview, mm. kung saan talaga yung pinagmulan, right? Anong kabataan mo? Uh -oh. Probinsya ba o Manila o saan? Actually, Corina, so I grew up in a very middle class family. I lived in a village in Paranaque and I think, I don't know, a few streets away, uh, doon ka rin nakatira. Yes! yes. Oh, so we wow. grew up Teka in muna. the same village. No. What many people don't know, I can say your village. Merville. Yes. So I grew up in Merville, Paranaque. Oh. And what I want to tell um, yung mga viewers natin, so um, nung bata kami, I didn't know Corina yet, but I knew her brother. So her brother who passed away was Ramon. Ramon. And siya yung crush ng bayan in Merville. Oh wow. So isa lang ako sa mga nandun sa village na oh wow, si Ramon Sanchez, ang guwapo niya. Ang guwapo <laughs> niya. I've said this in some school talks no when I want to inspire students is uh, during the time that Ninoy Aquino died, I remember so I was maybe 12 years old, dun ko unang naramdaman yung hirap ng pamilya ko. Kasi we were always middle class. We weren't wealthy, but we weren't poor either. Kasi nag-aaral na ako nun sa Kuleo San Agustin. Then I remember my father stopped working, and my mother wasn't working, and marami in our village, yung kapitbahay namin, were selling their homes at lumilipat sa probinsya. Mm. So that was the first time I felt na ang hirap. I remember nun, that's when it started in my teenage years, Yung, yung parents ko, um, sinanla yung isa naming sasakyan. Umabot sa ganon. Umabot sa ganon. Hirap sila magbayad ng tuition sa eskwelahan. And I was in San Agustin. And none of my close friends knew just what a hard time we were experiencing. Paano ay ginapang ng parents mo? So, um, yung nanay ko magaling sa maliliit na negosyo. And I also had uh, titas 
who were very committed to us, to helping us. And kahit pa paano kasi, my parents, my dad, and my mom, even if we had financial hardships, masipag sila. So it was very difficult. So after noon, so high school, na itawid, kumbaga from second year, dun ko naramdaman yun eh, second year high school to fourth year high school. So from then on, um, I applied in college and um, I wanted nung una to be a fashion designer. Then sinabi nga nung tatay ko, kasi mahilig na ako mag-drawing, sabi niya, ano ka ba? Pag hindi ka sobrang magaling dyan, ang hirap ng buhay mo. Wag yan. Totoo. Ay, may opinion siya sa fashion <laughs> industry talaga. Kung hindi ako ganun daw kagaling. Oh. So tinanong ko noon sa tatay ko, I remember, what, what, what can I take up in college? So I took up mass communications only because number one, mahina ako sa math. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi isa Pareho lang, kami, isa oh. lang ang math, di ba? Uh -oh. Pag mascom, isa lang ang class. And then, I passed both Ateneo and UP. Um, I, I wanted to go to Ateneo then because my classmates were in Ateneo. But then, I felt pag nag-Ateneo ko, mahihirapan pa yung mga magulang ko sa tuition. So, nag-UP ako. This is the interesting part. I never thought, even nung nagmamascom ako, I would be a broadcaster. Hanggang nagmamaskom ako, ang pangarap ko nun, maging fashion designer. Um, it was a professor that told me, alam mo Karen, pwede ka mag-broadcaster. Mm. Hindi ako nanunood ng news noon. Mga uh, early 90s, so I started to, to watch. And na, ang sikat na sikat noon was si Lauren Ligarda, Cheche Lazaro, at ikaw. Oh, wow! Hoy Gising! Oh, ah, Hoy Gising, Hoy Gising. noon! So, si Talaga namang dated ako, <laughs> dated! But, Talaga, you, oh. But you're part of everyone's uh -oh. history, her story. Oo. Oh, oh, diba? Oh, oh. So, nung pinanood ko nun, I remember this. I bet you, you would never know this because when I entered ABS, masyado kang nakakatakot noon. Hmm? So, hindi kita naman makausap. Nakakatakot po siya talaga noon. Ha? Teka wag muna. Wag Sandali lang. At wag ikat. <laughs> <laughs> wag hindi ikat. Hindi natin ikakat. Uh, okay. So, I remember, oh. so, so si Lauren Legarda was doing The World Tonight. And um, I knew Lauren because I was friends with her younger brother. Fra friends lang ba? <laughs> Oh, yun ay, oh, buntik na niyang maging sister-in-law, <laughs> si Lauren, yeah, so, oh, another revelation. Ayun, college years to. Uh -oh. So, pinapanood ko si Lauren, pinapanood ko si Cheche, si Katpanoon ng Probe Team. Tina Palma also. Tina Palma time. was GMA7 yes. na boss. Uh -oh, More uh -oh. of boss and newscast. Right. So, parang it was really the three of you na nakikita ko. And I said, wow, um, sabi ng professor ko, you can be a news, ano, news person, you, like a news journalist. So I started to watch more news. Tapos, I remember the first time na pinanood kita sa Hoy Gising. To be fair naman, you were very young. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, <laughs> and I remember gone. saying, grabe, ang ganda ng anchor na ito. Hmm? Yes. Pakita ka ng picture ko you dati. You must have been in your 20s. <laughs> you must yeah. have been in your 20s. Oh, oh. So I was maybe... Fetus ka pa nun, fetus. Oh, sige okay. na nga. Oh. 17, 18, mm -hmm. di ba? So, after that, after college, um, I had to apply for a job kasi I knew I had to, you know, support my family as well. Bagamat may negosyo yung nanay ko and my dad, we had a younger brother. So, I applied for a job. So, the first job I applied in was Channel 5 and I auditioned and I was rejected. Mm. So I didn't get that job. I was too scared to apply in Channel 2. Kasi this was the height of ABS-CBN. Yung lahat ng nandun, sobrang <laughs> sikat. So hin wala kong lakas ng loob na mag-apply. Ang lakas talaga ng ABS noon. Noon, I would say right 90, after... 93, 94. Yes, yes. Right Grabe. after the revolution. Oo. Grabe. So Oo. hindi ako nag-apply in ABS-CBN Channel 2. And I remember noon, I was um, uh, AA then, Lauren's brother said, mag-apply ka sa sister ko kay Lauren ah, sa Inside Story. Yes. I believe yun ang show uh -oh. niya. And Lauren told me, um, ayaw niya because then, baka naman, baka naman lang pagalitan lang daw niya ako. <laughs> ba? So, hindi na tuloy yun. And 
Ay, sabihin na natin kasi totoo kasi siya nga yung girlfriend ng kapatid. Ayaw niya na magiging empleyado ka niya. O, tapos? Anyway, so, ang nangyari nun after, nag-apply ako sa ANC na sa Rimanok noon and Business Today na GMA7. So, natanggap ako both. 8,000 pesos ang sweldo sa Sarimanok, 5,000 sa Business Today. Kinuha ko yung Business Today kasi I felt mas national ang coverage. Mm -mm. And I felt there were more opportunities. Mm -hmm. So that was my first job, GMA7. Ayun pala yung pinagmula ng ano, ng uh, yung business show mo, di ba? Yun yun. Yung, ano, yung uh, business today. Business Pero yung today, may puhunan. Tsaka yung may puhunan. Ay, yeah. Ganon. Doon pala nagsimula yun. Yun yun. Magandang araw. Ako po si Karen Davila. Samahan niyo po kami. Kung kaya nila, kaya niyo rin. Tara na't umaman sa may puhunan. Talagang na, nagdiradiretso ka na sa pamumuhunan, tsaka negosyo. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then... Yeah. So, after nun, I stayed in GMA 7 for maybe six and a half years. And I would have to say, Corina, that I am so grateful I started there kasi maganda ang training in GMA 7. They gave me all the breaks and I was able to grow and hone my craft. And nakatrabaho ko dun si Jessica Soho, Arnold Clavio. Alam mo yun, yung mga kasamahan natin na um, at that point, baguhan ako, so talagang I really looked up to them. Mm -hmm. And then at one point, I just wanted to expand my wings. Kaya um, I let, uh, I remember, uh, the late Arlene De Castro know mm -hmm. that I was willing to move to ABS-CBN. Hindi ka na may mga no, hindi ka na masyadong takot. Yeah, this was the year 2000. Mm -hmm. So I was, I think, maybe 29 or 30 years old. Doon ako lumipat ng ABS. I've been in ABS-CBN for 22 years now. Wow. wow. Let's face it, Corina, you're still young. I mean, I'm still young even if, I don't mean it literally, pero in the industry, we have many more years to go. So dapat, you have, other than adaptability, there has to be humility on everyone in the industry because the landscape has changed. Correct. Social media has equalized everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diba? Totoo. Oh, oh. oh, lahat ngayon pwede maging newscaster, no? <laughs> Hindi na tayo pwede magyabang. Dati kami lang yun. Kami lang yun talaga. Pinapanood ng lahat. Aba ngayon, naku, lahat, 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 lahat. pwede nang maging newscaster. Mas magaganda pa sila sa amin. <laughs> It's also taught me to accept, Corina, who I was. Kumbaga kasi there were many times I wanted to be better. I wish I could be like you, like Lauren, like whoever. But then in a way, it taught me through the years that, Karen, you can't be anyone else but you. Ito ang mga bagay na hindi ninyo alam about Karen, right? Actually, I don't know why. Are you very private? You don't really talk about your personal life too much, right? Yeah, not really. Oh -oh. Hindi, pero hindi rin naman kasi ako noon artistahin. Oo, oh oo, -oh, oh -oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, I would have to say, I think, uh, palaging, I mean, in ABS-CBN sometimes, in the past, no, parang we would be boxed into a certain mold. So, minsan lagi noon sinasabi, ay, social ka, ganito ka. Um, you understand me, mm. Corina, because you, you've been there. Mm -mm. When, you're, when you're boxed into a certain um, stereotype. So, that's when I also felt that I wanted to share more of my story and who I really am. Mm. Because sometimes, I think people make judgments based on how we look. Like, let's say, ikaw. Pag nakita ka, ah, ganyan ang itsura mo, ganyan ang dating mo, iisipin ka agad, mataray ka, matapang pa ka. Pero iba pag nakilala mo yung tao. And it's now easier because may social media may social na. May social media. So that's one. Ayun. Yun. Oh, oh. Pag nakikita ko nga yung post ni Karen, sabi ko, 
Parang may taste si Karen sa bahay. <laughs> Good morning! Welcome to a day in my life. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday. I'm Karen Davila working from... Kasi frustrated <laughs> artist ako, di ba? So I could have been a fashion designer, an interior designer, but so, so are you. Yes, I, I mean, I've up. seen your yes. uh, your photos and, yes, and features of your home. Right. I do yeah. my own furniture. Oh, di ba? Eh, kasi baka hindi alam ng tao, yung mother ko was a singer and also an interior decorator. Kaya you can sing. A little. Uh, yeah. Wal walang sample, ha? <laughs> hindi ako ang Kaya guest you can dito sing. ngayon. Tsaka na yung concert ko, pakiabangan. <laughs> okay. So when I came in, wow. Talagang mahilig ka sa art. You're a homemaker. Yeah. Well, homemaker. actually, I'm not a typical homemaker because hindi po ako marunong magluto. Although yung nanay ko ang galing magluto kasi kapampangan siya. Oh. Pero mas sino po ako sa bagay, magaling po ako sa pera, matipid po ako. Kung bagay, hindi ako masayang. Mm. I yun yung naituro sa akin. Ayun, yeah. tinuro sa'yo yan. Yeah. I would think uh, Ilocano ang nanay mo. No, Hindi, no, no. Pero, because my mother was one out of 12 and mahirap sila. So, tinulu my mother didn't even graduate college. Unlike my dad who was a bit landed, well-landed, kasi Tirol Davila sila. Pero sa nanay ko natutunan yung sinabi ng nanay ko, Karen, kahit wala kaming maipamana sa'yo na lupa, pera o alahas, Basta magtapos ka ng pag-aaral mo, you can achieve all your dreams. And I believed it. Ayun. And I believe that to be oh. true, Corina. Oo naman. Oh, diba? Totoo naman oh, yun. Oh. Wow, you know, we have so many things in common, Karen. I would have to say, because I've read also your history. Yes. You're inspired with your mother. Oh, oh. You also support your family. Yes. You're very hardworking. And she put all her kids oh, through see? Uh, her siblings through school. And mabuti kang ate. At kapampangan din siya. Oh, oh. Diba? Tapos sa Merville tayo See? pareho lumaki. I oh, told you. Lang Alam mo, how destiny works. Diba? Oh. I didn't know that. This is a surprise to me. Oh, and now, Vicarina Sanchez talking to Karen Davila. In her house. Oh, oh diba? <laughs> okay, let's talk about you as, well, a wife. Because you fell in love. Nakailang yeah. boyfriend ka? Naman, hindi marami. Hindi. <laughs> Ako, sasabihin ko talaga, nakailang ba? Ako, uh -huh. naka, I think, apat na serious. I would say two serious, ah. including DJ, but I did have boyfriends, maybe, uh, uh, mga four. Mga ganun. Mga ganun din, four or five. Meron pala siyang mga hindi serious. <laughs> Kasi, okay. <laughs> iba naman ng serious today. Okay, diba? well, uh -oh. mas bata siya sa akin. <laughs> ako manang ako talaga, so anyway. Okay, so finally, bakit si DJ? You know, I met DJ in GMA7, so he was, uh, he was working with a news desk. And uh, I think what appealed to me about DJ was he was very quiet and he's very opposite of my father. I'm like my father, but um, my dad's still alive and I love him, but it was a very hard time growing up with my dad. And he's really opposite of my dad. So DJ is more tahimik siya, he's steady, uh, he's um, reliable. You know, that kind. Soft-spoken. Soft-spoken. I think I fell in love with DJ first. We have two children. And I would have to say that um, through the good times, the bad times, it hasn't been easy all the time, you know, but I don't think any man would love me the way DJ loves me. DJ and I, uh, we don't have what you call a typical marriage in the sense of... Um, Time is expected because we both grew up, so to speak, in the newsroom. So when DJ was news director in ABS-CBN, I was also working full time. You were working full time. Alam mo naman yun, Corina. You have no control of the news desk's time. So I remember noon nung nanganak ako kay David Cesarian, kay Lucas Cesarian. Dalawang linggo palang Corina, bumalik na ako sa newscast. And, ay, dumudugo ka pa nun. <laughs> Paano yun? Kung hindi naman dumudugo na, no? Two weeks, nag-heal na yung cesarean wound. 
Pero you are not your best, right? Bloated ka pa noon. You, I felt weak. Mm. And I went back and I went back to work. I would be doing four shows, right? And then, uh, so, uuwi ako 1, 1.30 a.m. Magigising ako 5 a.m. Kasi may anak din ako. I would say din, din may anak po oh, ako. Then, you'd have to check. Papasok sila sa school. Oh. Mas maliliit sila noon. And this was the height, Corina, of my acid reflux. Mm. Na I did not know what it was. I would go on air in Bandila na wala akong boses. Oh. Yun pala, I had a bad case of acid reflux birth. And you didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't understand. So it took so many years when I found a voice doctor. The voice doctor said, you would have to quit your late night newscast. You cannot do it. You have to sleep. Sleep heals the voice. I can't afford it. Hangga, dapat talaga, gawin ko muna ito. So imagine the tragedy and um, I don't know if you can relate. I don't think you've ever had this problem. Ah, uh, no. Kasi narinig ko kumakain ka pa ng chichiria daw sa TV Patrol. Ay, kaya naman ako nabulunan. <laughs> nabulunan, Just, pero no. sabi nila, Karen, si Corina, kumakain pa yan ng chichiria tapos biglang magbabasa. Mm -mm. Sabi ko, my gosh. Nabulunan ako on air. Ano ka ba? <laughs> Nandyan yan sa internet. Nandun? Oo. Ako yung nawawala noon. It was very tragic. Ang dami noon. Yeah. And, so, yes. So, yeah. so, alam mo, hindi alam ng tao yan. Yeah. Ha? Uh, na you went through that kind of depression yeah. and that kind of uh, health situation. I was so depressed. Your voice. Eh, puhunan po namin yan. Yeah. So, ano ang resolution nun? So, is it better now? I would have to say it's improved a lot, but because there are so many things I cannot do. It's mm. also taught me to accept, Corina, who I was. Kumbaga, kasi there were many times I wanted to be better. I wish I could be like you, like Lauren, like whoever. But then, in a way, it taught me through the years that, Karen, you can't be anyone else but you. Correct. You have to, mm. you have to accept what's been given you. You have to love who you are. You have to make the best of what you have. Mm. And you have. Nax. Ano ba? One of Asia's most influential and powerful. <laughs> And your roster of awards, Ex mabigat na ang mga eskaparate mo rin. <laughs> Alam mo yun na sabi nila, you stay long enough in the industry, you'll win everything. Exactly. <laughs> Totoo rin naman yun. <laughs> Oy, pero hindi lahat ha. Hindi, yeah, hindi, hindi lahat. lahat, hindi lahat. Eh, hindi ka naman nagsisisi na ito pa rin ang profession na pinili mo, hindi ka naging fashion designer. No, I would have to say talaga that I believe that there's a purpose for my life. I mean, like you. You're gifted with the gift of communicating. I feel also the same way. Mm -hmm. I feel that this is where we are supposed to be. Ano pa ba yung mga hindi masyadong alam ng tao about Karen? Well, now you know that she's a homemaker and why she chose DJ to, <laughs> to marry. And eto ngayon, ang kanyang special and lovable child, David, which to her, and that she also went through depression. But David... Ano pa ba yung mga hindi masyadong alam ng tao about Karen? Well, now you know that she's a homemaker and why she chose DJ to, <laughs> to marry. And eto ngayon, ang kanyang special and lovable child, David, which to her, and that she also went through depression. But David... Yeah. David. David is I, a big part of your life forever and ever. ever. Man. So, ako, I would have to say that um, the biggest challenge, the hardest struggle sa buhay namin, sa buhay ko, is David. So, uh, David was born in 2002 and at two and a half years old, he was diagnosed as being in the autism spectrum. Pero hindi ko alam may autism siya. So, nung maliit si David, ang cute-cute niyang bata, pero hindi nagsasalita, walang eye contact, hindi ako tinatawag na mommy, daddy, wala. Nothing. So, si David noon, um, he was very quiet, pero biglang nagwawala. 
nanununtok ng mga uh, yaya. Sinabi ng friends ko, I think there's something wrong with him. And I said, no, ano lang yan, um, yung tatay niya, tahimik, si DJ, tahimik, ganyan lang yan. And when David was diagnosed as being in the autism spectrum, alam mo, Corina, mga dalawang linggo, iyak kami ng iyak ni DJ. Kasi sinabi ng doktor nun, there's no cure. And what I did was go to foreign doctors who actually gave a different treatment for autism. And it was a committed lifestyle of change. And see, David today is not the same person. When you have a child with autism, Corina, you are committed. It is unconditional love. Because David today, he is present in the moment. He speaks, you'll meet him later. But he was not that way before. So many parents, like ikaw, you're a mother, you feel so fulfilled na kinakausap ka ng anak mo. Mm. I didn't experience that. Oh, oh. I, I can imagine not. the pain. That's painful. Not. Kasi oh, oh. ikaw, I see your videos. Mm -hmm. You joke with your kids, they answer back. I did not have that experience with David. Our life was David the whole time. And then six years after, Lucas was an accident, a pleasant accident. And I was very scared. Why? You only wanted one child? Because I was very scared na mamaya, yung autism ay galing sa akin or galing sa asawa ko. So I baka didn't maulit. know, baka maulit. And I'm sure many parents watching right now, they would have that fear. So, nung nabuntis ako the second time, kaya ang laki ng agwat nila, Corina, six years, please, mahal na mahal ko si David, pero sana, ang anak na ito, ang batang to, ito na itutulong sa amin, in the family, with David. So Lucas turned out to be, we say it now, a typical child. Ngayon, uh, si Lucas is the one na binilinan ko na that you have to take care of your brother. One day, if me and your dad, you know, are not there anymore, you have to be the one na dapat kakampi niya. Ano, ano nga yung rated kay, ano mo? Kaibigan, kabalitaan at kakampi. Yon. Kaibigan o walang hindi kabalitan, pero kamarites. Kabal yeah. <laughs> At kakampi. So in the very essence, I told Lucas, that has to be him. Mm. Yan. That's really, really important. Yeah. That's really important. Lalo habang bata pa, alam na niya kung ano dapat siya sa kanyang kapatid. So, so tingin mo, is that one of your biggest fears that you leave him too early? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, believe me when I tell you, I have fear sometimes that if I'm gone early, na, of course I pray and I know that I will stay with them for a long time. Yeah. What about that near-death experience? Muntik na sabi mo, bawi ang buhay si David. Yeah. 2019, uh, DJ and I came from Sorsogon, and David is always excited. Lali, lagi yung, mommy, when are you coming home? Mommy, who are you with? Very conversational. He's he's a very sociable boy. So, sinalubong niya kami sa lobby ng aming condo. So, yakap, yakap, hawak niya yung maleta ko. So, si DJ, wala pa, nakatayo siya, and then I was standing and I saw from afar si David was standing, ah, nag-gumanto na lang. So, I could see from the back. Tapos, biglang nahulog. Nung nahulog, so I said, David! So, I went there. Yung mata niya is, how do you say that? Umiikot-ikot. Umiikot-ikot. And then nangingisay. If I lost my son, I would accept it. That's not a moment you think you can do, huh? When I felt at that moment I could lose David, that he could be taken away. Nothing is ours. So ako, I would say, you only realize when people you love, you can lose. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I think many of us are prepared to lose a parent or even a husband or a wife, but not a child. I think that's the hardest. I can't imagine. You cannot, yeah. I cannot imagine. Mm -hmm. So that was that time. I would say, Corina, that was a life-changing moment for me. That was the life-changing moment for me 
when David was about to die and we were able to rush him to St. Luke's ha? but then after that buti na lang it was in time so it was a recommitment to David so when people ask me is your commitment to your son's autism for life it's for life Corina it is for life there is no you know why David had a seizure because for some years I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna admit medyo I became a bad mom dito I let him cheat with food. He was eating fast food. He was eating junk. Because may kapatid siya who was doing it. So, minsan naaawa ako, di ba? Kawawa naman, pakainin mo na. And it was DJ who'd say, Han, di mo ba nakikita? Pag pinapakain mo ng ganun, he, he's scratching his himself more. When the seizure happened, Corina, from that time on, the recommitment, no, no compromises, no shortcuts. But then, it's the person I am today. I don't think I would be this person today if not for that moment in time. The discipline that life has imposed yeah. on you. And you know, Karina, it's also the humility. Eh? Mm -hmm. That was the first time we're in... You are not... I wasn't in control, control. of anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel that has changed me mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And I would never cry because uh, today, no, now that I'm 51, I wouldn't cry because of work. I think you and I have been there. When iniiyakan natin ang trabaho. Ay, hindi na ngayon. Hindi na ngayon. Sila na ngayon ang pinapaiyak ko. <laughs> Oo, ayoko na. <laughs> Tapos na tayo doon. Oh, Tapos na yun. Correct. But now, it's, it's people we love. That's the humble. You know why? Yeah. Because that's what really matters. Yeah. In the end. That is. Which leads me to my next question about all this, it, lahat itong mga pinagdaanan sa karera. Bakit sa palagay mo pinag-aaway nila tayo? Eh kasi naman ikaw yung reyna. No, ay... <laughs> Teka muna, wag mo muna sagutin. Sandali, lakakain pa tayo ng salad. Mamaya, lahat ang mga okay. gusto niyong tanungin, uh, tatanungin natin sa ating pagbabalik. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. So wait, are you a healthy eater? Um, okay. Diba you went on keto for a long time? I'm a healthy eater if yeah. I have to. Pero uh -oh. I should be healthy all the time. Tama? Yes. Okay. Ay, naku, yeah. mahirap. Ako, Kung meron ng lechon dyan, eh, huwag ko oh, na. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, salad. So wait, I have, this is good, ah. Okay, meron siya. And then I have flourless. Yung ginagawa niyang salad kanina, eto yes. na. Yes, ayan yun. So this is, okay. ano, this is flourless chocolate cake. It's gluten-free. We which is good one. for David. Which is good for David. Correct. So, and ito you like fruit. this. Oh, this is pomelo salad with cashew nuts and carrots. Wow, okay. Or shall we? Tayo. Kakain okay. tayo. Okay. Kung makakakain ka. <laughs> Kung makakakain ka. Okay, pero bago yan. Wow. Ha -ha. Kailangan nyo maghintay sa mga tanong ko. Dito muna tayo sa salad. May I wow, serve? Thank you. Thank you, dear. Ayan. This is thank you. one of my favorites. I don't know why she knows. Talaga? Oh, no, really. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, good. I love it because parang hefty, yes. flavorful. And we put shrimp. Oh, oh we yeah. put shrimp. And then I don't know. This is ano? This is Antonio's pineapple mustard dressing. Ayan. Okay. So parang lahat tayo kung makain kung mak yun na nga. Oh. Kailangan yung maghintay para sa mga tanong ko. Habang umunguya kami, <laughs> hihintay nyo yung mga tanong ko sa kanya. So, ang tanong ng bayan, mm. talaga ba, Corina, i-interviewin mo talaga si Karen? Oh, And sabi ko sa kanila, bakit? Ano pang problema nyo? So, ito no, matagal na itong pinag-uusapan. Ako naman, tuwing ito lalabas sa mga usapan, parang, what? No. I don't know where you're getting that. So, sabi mm. ko, Saan nyo ba nakukuha yan? Bakit ba ang tingin ninyo magkagalit kami ni Karen Davila? Yun. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, sige, oh. ikaw nga, sagutin mo nga yun. Ako may sagot ako dyan. No, I, I think, uh, may sagot ka dyan. Yes, may sagot ako No, dyan. ang feeling ko, because um, siguro nga, I mean, work-wise, parang it was such a competitive environment mm -hmm. where we used to work. Mm -hmm. So parang they would always uh, pit people against each other, right. perhaps. Yung... Mm -hmm. Uh, it would be that, um, uh, let's say, after Corina, nandiyan si Karen. Uh -huh. So, you know, napakahirap rin yun for any woman. Mm -hmm. Any woman. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, you feel minsan, 
um, either um, may hinahabol ka or hinahabol ka. You, you understand? So, yes. No, but they're designing the race. Yeah. It's everybody yes. else. It's everybody else. Yes. It's a, I agree with you. Because mm. I would have to say, uh, um, and I mean this like from the bottom of my heart, um, one, I, uh, ako sa pananaw ko, isa sa mga nasayang na panahon ko sa ABS-CBN is yung hindi kita nakilala doon. I'll be honest. I mean, of course, you were very busy. Oh, oh no? Yeah, but I feel it was lost opportunity. I mean, I think for me, for both of us, I wish Totoo I had yan. gotten to know you then. Even even as a mentor, ah, or meaning even mm -hmm. somebody who was much senior than me, but that whole experience, I mean, of of getting to know you, because we never got to do that. We never got we to never. do that. I think, una, sobrang busy. Sobrang oh, diba? busy. Sobrang busy. Yeah. Iba-ibang schedule natin. Uh -oh. I mean, it's not like, nakakahuntahan ko ng madalas yeah. si Bernadette or even Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talaga nakakausap ko lang si Ted kasi siya yung partner ko. You were together ko. all the time. Oo, di ba? Hindi so, ka niligawan ni Ted? Ever? Di ba show ko to? Bakit ako Parang yung tinatanong? Parang naisip ko, sa tagal ninyo ni Ted? <laughs> sa tagal ninyo ni Ted together? <laughs> or may asawa na ba si Ted nun? Hindi may siya asawa nagka... na siya Pero nun. Pero hindi... Ah, nung na-meet mo siya? May asawa ah. na si Ted, 12 years old pa lang. May asawa na. <laughs> ano ba? Hindi ba? So, well, that's one thing mm. na sobrang busy. Tapos, naunahan pa ng... Ay, Ay nako, ang, pum oh, oh, ang pumalit kay Corina ah, si Karen. Yeah. So, baka galit si Corina kay Karen. Mm -hmm. Actually, hindi ah. Yeah. Ito, desisyon ng management yon nung pinalitan mo ako sa TV Patrol. And every and yeah. there was nothing. Remember when Mar ran? Yeah. I even invited you. Yeah. And wala talaga yon, kasi decision talaga yon ng mga boss namin ng mga panahon na yon. Eh pero ayan na naunahan na ng mga intriga dito, intriga don, intriga don. Eh tapos hindi pa tayo magtagpo sa schedule yeah. natin. Yeah. And I so, think we didn't know each other well. Oh. So I think that's mm -hmm. also a factor. Correct. Hindi tayo, that, nag, yeah. hindi tayo sabay nagsimula eh. Oo. Oh, oh. I think because if you don't know each other, you also tend to, I think, respond to your fears and also listen to other people, right? And remember when I replaced you in TV Patrol 2004? Mm -mm. Napakahirap nun for me because I was, I, kumbaga, I had not, I felt I wasn't ready for TV Patrol then. Mm -hmm. I think I, I told you that, I mean, I'm not sure if you remember. But um, I, I was, I think, 34. I felt I, I was too young for TV Patrol then. But then after six years, by 2010, I remember that when management told me you were coming back and Kabayan was coming back. And do you know, um, that's when I understood. I mean, I didn't, because I felt, I felt it's par for the course. I mean, of course, malungkot ako nun, but eh, kung nangyari nga kay Corina, Alam nga naman magreklamo ko na mangyayari sa akin. Okay, you, you understand? Yes. So feeling ko bata ko, bata ko magrereklamo eh kay Corina nga nangyari yon. She was on the top of her game. And then ako, uh, if she comes back, parang what spare what makes it any different? That's how I felt. Correct. It's true. I'm so happy that you think that. Yes. Kasi ganun din ako eh, parang yung Alam po ninyo, sa news, talagang ganun yon. Isa lang ang newscast sa prime time. Yeah. At pwede musical chairs yan. Pwede yeah. yung magpalit-palit ng kung sino-sino, wala kang magagawa. Dahil lahat po kami empleyado. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think the, the, the really best thing is to just um, shine wherever you are. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon, Karen, ibang-iba na. Yeah. Kanya-kanya right? talaga ang... Uh, Gimmick. <laughs> Ganun na lang ang tawag namin. Corina. Oh, so, ngayon, so, ngayon, ang TV, anong tingin mo? Ang TV ba talagang nawawala na yan? Uh, That's what they say. TV yeah. is on its way out. Do you agree? I think viewing habits have definitely changed. In many parts of the world na talagang ang internet is everywhere and costs very little, talagang they really watch online. Ayun. Yeah. Although TV kasi is a point of viewing if you want to watch the news, 
if you're home, you watch TV. But then that also shows online. Right, right, yeah. right. So ngayon, medyo nagbabago na talaga. Yeah. Nagbabago na, kaya she's on YouTube. <laughs> and you are on YouTube too. Rated Corina I'm is everywhere. on YouTube. I'm everywhere. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. Sabi nga nila, the best thing that you can teach your child is adaptation to change. Yeah. Wait, are you on TikTok na? Like you personally? Hindi ako sumasayaw. But you are? Meron ako, konti. Pero what do you do? Nagtatanong ako. Oh, you pwede. <laughs> tatlong tanong lang. Itatanong yeah, kita it, ma... Itiktok it, yun. Correct. Itiktok ko yun. Ah, I see. Galing ah. Uh -oh. But um, it keeps changing. Hindi ka ba napapagod? Napapagod din, but more... Uh, napapagod ako, but then it keeps us young. Kasi you have to keep thinking, you're innovating, you have to be creative, sumasabay ka, ayaw mo maging luma. Di ba? Eh, sa atin, you know, mahirap yung... To be a husband is only because you don't want to move forward. Ay, I believe diba? that. If Oo. you want to move forward, you're forever there. Yes. Yeah. I believe that. Gusto kong yeah. last interview natin, ay 100 years old ako. <laughs> At ikaw ang i-interviewin ko. Yeah. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, 50, ano ka nun? 95. Uh, oh. Ako magtatanong sa'yo. <laughs> kailangan interviewin mo ako pag 100 years old na ako, Karen. Ha? Importante yan. Kasi kailangan mo alagaan si DJ at uh -huh. ako, kailangan yeah. nandiyan pa rin ako si for Pepe, and, Pepe Pilar. and Pilar. What are their formal names? Ang haba. Alam mo, really? pagkasulat nila ng formal names sila, pass your papers na, hindi wala ng time. Mm -hmm. Oo. Masyadong mm -hmm. mahaba. So, pero ginawa namin yun para magbigay pugay oh, oh. sa lahat ng aming mga ninuno at isa pang episode yun. Si oh, Pepe maganda yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Bahala na. But we'd like to thank Karen oh. because... Pinapunta pa niya tayo dito sa kanyang bahay, pinaghanda pa niya tayo, at marami pa kaming pag-uusapan na hindi niyo na kailangang marinig. Okay? So, believe you me, it only happens on Corina Interviews, and next will be in her YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you! Oh, thank umo, you, Kay. Umoon na ako dyan, ha? Oo, oh, oh. umoon na ako dyan. Singilan, narinig niyo. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan, tapos na show mo. Ha? Huh? Okay na. <laughs> Ang haba. Ang haba ng show mo din. ba yun? Isama nyo yun ha? Sa ending. Ganyan siya. Talagang, okay cut. Okay na ba? At tapos na ba? Tapos na ba yung show, dear? That's it. Ang tindi ng show na to. Yeah. Okay. David? Hi! Hi! Hi, Kuya! May oh. PS pa pala tayo dito. Hi, David! Hi, David! So, he came from school. Oh, how was school? Wow. School was great. School was great. Oh, wait. So, really? You know, you know Corina Sanchez? Yes, I know you from Rated K. Oh, oh see? Oh, diba? Oh, kita mo na? You know her from Rated K. Oh, she's pogi she's mo famous, pala. Ana. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, pogi. Yeah. <laughs> Sa personal. Ano ba yan? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have a girlfriend already? Uh, I'll have one in the future. <laughs> oh, magaling sumagot. Yeah. Oh, Alam mo, ang, ano? ito ang susunod kong i-interviewin. Okay? So, so, what are your plans in the future and what is um, 4,276 divided by 2,000 <laughs> plus 775? Joke. Joke. Okay. Oh, alam din yapan joke. Joke. Oh, diba? It's great. Okay, so, abangan ninyo. I'm gonna have a one on one with David. For now, it's goodbye. Bye, guys. Say bye, bye. Kuya. Bye -bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Oh, eat with us. Uh -oh. Enjoy me. <laughs> Here, Kuya, yeah, just stay here. All right, there's a flowerless, ano, Kuya? Uh-uh. That's all.